Hi everyone, you are listening to the Drastic Measures live stream. I'm here with um, a guest. This is uh, Perfect Dawa, and today we're going to be talking about the differences between his interpretations of Islam and some of the other popular um, YouTube Dawa personalities. Um, so thank you for coming on uh, Perfect Dawa. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I'm very delighted to be here and uh, uh, represent a different view of uh, Islam. And uh, yes, we can talk tonight about uh, the differences between the Islam. I I'm just have to say that I'm not alone, of course. I've said it many times. Everybody knows that we are a lot of people. <clears throat> and uh, yes, our view, the difference between our views and these uh, extremist, uh, you know, uh, Muslims. Or sure. I can say so-called Muslims, yeah. Okay. Right, just to let everyone know, the, uh, the screen probably looks a bit odd because I've got two accounts up here. I'm not trying to gang up on Perfect Darwin here or anything. I've just, um, I've got the uh, problem that I had previously with a time lag, so I have to do this strange setup. Um, but uh, hopefully everybody in the chat can hear us okay. Um, uh, Perfect Darwin, so I'm going to call you by your name, Muji. For, uh, yeah, no problem. Yes. Um, okay. Muji, do you want to start by maybe just giving a little bit of your background, how you became a Muslim, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I was born in a Muslim family, but at the age of 25, I started to think that, is there any God? And after a few days, uh, uh, I decided that God doesn't exist because I was looking around to see uh, evidence for God and I couldn't find it. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to defend, uh, sorry, um, offend anybody, any atheist, but it, um, uh, I'm talk, just talking about myself. Yeah, It was lack of uh, knowledge that I had, not uh, because the evidences were not there. <clears throat> I couldn't see them because I didn't have uh, enough knowledge. <clears throat> so future, uh, in the future. Oh, sorry, Muji, I can't hear you. Have you muted yourself? Okay, uh, I heard myself talking. Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. That's fine. No, uh, it, there is an echo. Oh, is the oh right? Um, okay. Uh, are, are people in the chat hearing an echo? Let us know if you can. Are you hearing an echo from me, Muji? I hear a lot of noises. <laughs> Voices. I hear. Okay, be bear with me one second. Yes. Okay. Has has that improved it? Can you hear me? Hello, now I talk, let's see. Yeah, well, okay, I, I can, can, I can I hear can. you fine. Can you hear me or is it still echoing? No, no, um, uh, sorry. Uh, when I say, yeah, yeah, no, drastic, drastic. When I talk to you, uh, then I hear myself after a few seconds. Ah, okay, right, so you're getting an echo of yourself. I mean, you're, you're coming through fine to me. I can't hear any kind of echoes there. People in the chat are saying that there's, I, and I hear and I hear your voice also, and I hear your voice also twice when you talk, and then again the echo comes after a few seconds. Okay, all right. Uh, sorry about this, folks. Uh, just just bear with me one minute. Let me see if I can um, do something to sort this out. Just one moment. Can you still hear me echoing? Uh, okay, now I think, uh, yes, yes, somebody wrote. Uh, uh, I think, yes, uh, now I understand the problem. I had the YouTube open as well. Sorry, Drastic, it was my ah. fault. Yeah, no, yeah. That's, I, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, Look, yeah, I it, it's a live YouTube stream, open. these things happen. These yes, things happen, yes, there's I, no problem. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, I, I was uh, saying that, <clears throat> yeah, after a uh, few years when I learned different scientific facts, 
and uh, I learned about different religions. So I started to uh, realize I was wrong. And then <clears throat> anyway, I don't want to go uh, into that very, very much because I don't think it is the subject tonight. And so I realized that I was wrong. So uh, I uh, found Islam as the <clears throat> uh, only solution to all our problems on this planet, <clears throat> uh, the way out of the jungle we are living in. So I converted to Islam. Uh, okay. That's a little bit about myself, yeah. Would, was your interpretation of Islam different to when you were younger and then when you came back to Islam? Did you have a different interpretation of the religion? I, uh, when I was, I mean, <clears throat> uh, when I was uh, young, uh, before, I mean, become atheist, I didn't know much about Islam, so I wasn't uh, really, when I people say that I'm an ex-Muslim because I was born in a Muslim family, I don't actually agree with them because I myself see myself as not being a Muslim that time because I didn't know it. I just was born into a Muslim family <clears throat> and I didn't know much about it. I just uh, knew about fasting, praying, uh, you know, basic things. So I didn't know anything about Islam, uh, better say, uh, just few things. And later I started to, when I became Muslim, I started to, yes, understand uh, a different Islam. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, look, the, the, the main reason that I wanted you to come on is, and I'll, I'll be, I'll be very honest and upfront with you. I'm yeah. very skeptical of yeah. um, when people say that they are kind of a moderate Muslim. Now I'm not saying that there aren't different interpretations of Islam. I fully accept that. And I don't say that if you don't have the kind of, interpretation that somebody like Mohammed Hijab is, you're not a real Muslim. That's not something that I believe. But okay. um, I have found in many of the conversations that I've had with kind of maybe more reformist or moderate Muslims, um, that when you start to dig down deep, the difference between them and somebody like Mohammed Hijab gets smaller and smaller. Now, to your credit, one of the reasons I invited you was that I saw you did a live stream with um, where Nadir Ahmed appeared. I don't know if you remember that. I think it was quite recently. Yeah. And I was very, I was pleased that I saw you challenging him on stoning. Stoning, adulterous. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, to, and to your credit, you actually called him out and you said, I think you're afraid to um, admit that you are for stoning, you are for this barbaric practice. And you called him out and I thought that was, I was very pleased because I rarely see things like that. The fact that you were willing to do that live on your YouTube stream and you made him very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But um, so I, I feel that that's, that said to me that you, whether, whether I agree with the, um, the textual basis for your interpretation, you do seem sincere in, wanting to challenge these kind of things by your own interpretation and i i also saw recently you tried to get onto hamza's den as well and he blocked you um from they have, sorry they have blocked me all of them uh, in, in now several years and <clears throat> uh ef dawa this uh dawa wise hamza din he blocked me just a few days ago of course <clears throat> and he i got on with another account and the moment he realized it's me, he just removed me and then uh, he blocked me again. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, let, let's, let's, um, yeah. So the, the, the reason I said that, because I just, there will be people in the chat who are going to be skeptical that your position is really different today. So I just wanted to give you the credit of saying, yes, I, I've, I've certainly seen you challenge him on contentious issues like this, which is a good mm -hmm. thing. Um, I want to start by um, asking the, the, the large overall question is, my biggest problem with Islam, if I had to pick one, was this insistence that you live by Sharia, this idea mm -hmm. of an Islamic caliphate, that everything has to be Islamic law if you're Muslim majority. Now, mm -hmm. what is your position on that? Do you do you feel, feel that if it's a Muslim majority country, it would have to be living by some form of Sharia, or would you accept a democratic kind of secular system? Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, first of all, I don't believe in caliphate. Uh, I've been discussing some uh, people who try to <clears throat> to defend that uh, sort of uh, you know ruling. <clears throat> I ask him, is it possible to uh, you know vote uh, the caliphate out, and how often we can do that? So they, the moment I go to this question, they stop uh, you know 
talking because they don't know what to say. Because if it is, you cannot <clears throat> uh, vote out a caliphate, then it's dictatorship, okay? And if you do that, if you can choose your caliphate every four years, that's republic. <laughs> it's not caliphate anymore. Right, so, yeah. yes, so I disagree with even <clears throat> republic. Uh, I believe in direct democracy and the democracy that we have in the uh, Western world today or democratic world is indirect democracy because you choose your leaders every four years and you have no any influence on them. They can do whatever they want in four years. <clears throat> so I am against even that democracy. I believe in direct democracy, <clears throat> which is uh, you can change your leaders anytime you want. Yeah. And uh, yes, and so caliphate in that uh, view that they have, it's uh, not a democratic uh, you know system and about sharia law <clears throat> uh, i believe that uh, sharia law uh, is absolutely based on no compulsion in religion so you have no right to force anybody to anything uh, as long as they are not going to harm themselves or the society of course <clears throat> but uh, anybody have the right to believe whatever they want and they have the right to <clears throat> you know be chosen or choose uh, anybody. So, and I have uh, 44 years um, we are fighting against Iranian regime and I'm supporting yeah. a Muslim organization uh, as well that we believe in, uh, you know, such a system for uh, future Iran. But we have also a belief that in the future, this is written in Quran, that finally everybody will follow this system. Sharia law is not in reality, you know, the, what these extremists they they show, Sharia law is uh, you know praying, fasting, and uh, you know doing charity and uh, all these types of. Uh, That's like the know, five pillars essentially. The five pillars of Islam. Uh, and there is, I have to say that uh, there is no five pillars in Islam because uh, you know if there was, then uh, uh, what is it? Then Shia and Sunni at least they had the same. Uh, pillars of Islam, but they have different pillars of Islam. So these five okay. pillars of Islam is just, you know, everybody believe in something, okay? But Muji, let me cut in there for a second, because this, see, this this is already where I would start to worry a little bit, is that yeah, so? if, well, well let, let, let me just put this question to you. If if you are a believer, as you say, in kind of a direct democracy, choosing your leaders, etc., um, mm -hmm. why do you need Sharia at all? Okay, um, look, the thing is that that's very deep now. <clears throat> First of all, uh, I, as I said, th there are types of Sharia law like that. Uh, praying, fasting, you know, giving charity, taking care of people and not harming innocent people. Uh, sure. Don't lie. All these types of things that uh, almost uh, even uh, atheist people, some atheists follow yeah. it. You know, except the praying and fasting, yeah. But but, but so, let's okay. So to interrupt, but let, let, let's move into other areas which might be more contentious because I don't think any person who's a non-Muslim would have a problem with a Muslim praying, fasting, doing charity. But yes, when it yes. comes to things, let, let's take an example like blasphemy yeah. laws. Okay. Now uh, that, that that's not absolutely. Uh, I'm absolutely against that. That's not Islamic. It goes against uh, the you know the basis of Islam that she says no compulsion in religion your religion is for you my religion is for me there is no such a law it is you know fabricated hadiths they are a bunch of you know blasphemy blasphemy law is in north korea as well you know this is man made laws it is not divine law laws yeah, you say see, something yeah, against uh, uh, marx karl marx i kill you you know but, 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 this is what i'm saying see see it, it's this kind of language that that does slightly worry me because as far as i'm concerned in the in the kind of society that i'd want to live in i'd want yes. everybody to have the right to their religious beliefs as exactly. long as it's not being imposed on others as long as all the citizens have the same rights exactly. we've the right to freedom of speech we have the right to even mock somebody else's religion if if mm -hmm. that is the case we um we don't have a system where one set of citizens has more rights than another now these things are absolutely associated with the traditional understanding of sharia that muslims are supposed to be on the top with superior rights you have dhimmis or uh, people are forced to convert or they're basically killed or they're driven out of the land now okay. I, I, if you were in a country which was muslim majority would you fight against any attempt to impose a system where you're going to have muslims with superior rights to non-muslims 
Okay. Uh, I said it from beginning that I follow an organization. We have lost over hundred thousands our our uh, you know followers and members. One of them, my brother. We have been fighting against Iranian ISIS fascist regime. The first one, the first one who went against the uh, compulsory hijab in uh, was 1980. 1980, yeah. yeah. The first organization that went against that was my organization because we said you have no right to force hijab on people. And we have been fighting them. We have uh, lost so many. And that, of yeah. course, there is somebody in the chat says that, yeah, like Jazia. Okay. I would like to address such a things as well that they understand that. The, but could, could is, I just get, could I just, just drill down on this? Because yeah. it is really important to, to certainly for me. Yeah. yeah. And would, would you, um, oppose any system that tries to give Muslims more rights than non-Muslims in a Muslim majority country. Yes, uh, I have to. Uh, I, can I share with you something, please, before I, I go on? Okay, uh, just yep. a moment. I want go to ahead. share with you. Yes, uh, let me. See. Okay. Were you yeah. looking to share a document or something on the screen, or no? It is just here. Do you see this? Uh, this yeah. picture. Let's... Yes. One moment. Okay. Let me. I can put it up. One moment. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so it should be up on the screen now. Okay, this is a small city now in Albania. They were based in Iraq. This is my organization, and there are several thousand members now in Albania. And the uh, Iranian regime has been trying to destroy them. They are the biggest enemy of Iranian regime. Men and women are absolutely equal there. Women have more rights than men in this organization because we believe that women have been oppressed in thousands of years. So we have to give oh. them a good opportunity that they show themselves. So we have put them, you see, these are women also, they are Muslim women with hijab. No, that's, that's good. No, I, I, Muji, I can, you know, I, I commend the work your organization is doing, but I, I, I would like to get an answer to the question though. Would you yes, yes, I said it. Yes, yes, I said that. The, I showed you the organization so that you know that we have the 10 point plans. Um, we have a, uh, you know, elected president. And in that 10 point plans, it says uh, a secular uh, democratic republic, Iran. Okay. And now we are gathering support. And uh, just today, I, I read that 200 Fr French parliamentarians have, uh, you know, supported this, uh, you know, this organization and its plans, uh, plans for future Iran that uh, we are against both dictatorship, the, the former dictatorship and the current dictatorship. And we believe that no one has the minimum extra right uh, to other one uh, because of religion, because of, okay. uh, for example, yeah. we are against in a, against monarchy because we say that you cannot have extra uh, privilege because of your uh, family ties. Yeah. So everybody okay. are equal. No, that sounds, that sounds great. That sounds great. Yes. And I appreciate you. OK, so you would you 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 would not favor anyone having more rights over anyone else based on religion. So that's that's great no, to hear. I appreciate absolutely it. Absolutely not. That's, that's good. Um, what I'm going to ask now is, again, and I I hope you don't, I'm not meaning to sound offensive or anything like that. But, no, 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 no. Um, I, know, I understand you. <laughs> don't but, um, what I, what yeah. I want to ask is, when I, when I look at all the uh, YouTubers um, who are popular, um, yes. Mohammed Hijab, Ali Dawa, these people have hundreds of thousands or even millions of subscribers. Yes. And then, unfortunately, yeah, yes, unfortunately. I agree. I know I agree with you there. Um, <laughs> and then I look at somebody like you who, you know, your version of Islam is far more palatable to someone like myself. Um, and I see you've got maybe five or six hundred subscribers. Yes. Right. Why is there why is there such an imbalance? If, if, if your version is correct, why are these so popular? Why? Why do the, the majority of Muslims go to these guys and not to you? All right. That's why they block me. That's why they remove me, because, uh, you know, they don't want that people hear me. If they hear me, then they start to think that, oh, oh they are wrong. And, uh, you know, uh, Perfect Dawah is right. So they will come to me and they will because uh, I uh, one, one of them was saying that uh, Perfect Dawah is uh, very, very, uh, what is it? Um, uh, dangerous, of course, yeah, because a woman had called uh, them and said that they, I believe that Perfect Dawah is right about uh, polygamy, for example, you know, because sure. I'm against polygamy as well. So uh, anyway, they were saying that uh, he, and some of them say that I 
uh, spread uh, fitna. Fitna is uh, in Islamic term is some kind of uh, how do you call it um, a doubt. Yeah, doubt among yeah, uh, yeah people. No, I'm aware of the term, but, yes. uh, but Mujit, sorry, sorry, just to stop you one second. I'm just just to respond to the chat. We will we will get into some questions about how Muji got to his interpretations, the theological basis mm -hmm. at a later point. But um, uh, and obviously, please, anyone who wants to ask questions or put points in the chat, please do. We will get to them um, later on mm -hmm. in the discussion. But um, yeah, but but Muji, the, the, I suppose the thing I'm getting at is whether you're blocked or not that doesn't affect the numbers the point is somebody like ali darwa's got a million subscribers mm -hmm. over a million people over a million muslims think that his way of looking at it is the correct way compared to say and it's not just you i mean when i've looked at other other muslims who have claimed to be moderate reformists not non kind of extremist types um that like the impactful scholar for example i don't know if you're aware of him but he, i mean he's got maybe three three and a half thousand subscribers this, mm -hmm. These are the kind of numbers. We're talking hundreds of thousands for guys yes. like you, and we're talking hundreds of thousands or millions for the very people that we're worried about. So yes. why is it, it's not just down to you being blocked. Why is there such an imbalance? Why are those so popular? All right. Uh, maybe, I don't know, actually, maybe they have started long before. I don't know how long uh, ago. I just really myself, I have started uh, to be very active uh, almost a year ago. Before I wasn't like this active, I was more active on Facebook, yeah. Then I shifted uh, to uh, YouTube <clears throat> uh, and it is kind of a year that I have been uh, more active and I don't have the, you know, the money to uh, advertise or such a things, understand? So I just take it uh, as it is. So perhaps they have other methods. Um, I don't know what they do. Maybe they put, uh, short videos and such a things i don't know well, look, look, again I, I suppose the point again again i'm not i'm not trying to say that you're not working as hard as them or anything like that but, but what i'm mm -hmm. saying is to me the clear answer would be is that most muslims agree with their interpretation and not your interpretation that would seem to be the logical reason why they can build a subscriber base so easily yeah. whereas another thing is that no sorry another thing is that uh, f uh, what is it? They see that they are famous, so they subscribe anyway, you know. Uh, but another uh, something else also is that n most of these people they don't know themselves, you know. They don't uh, read uh, Quran and uh, they don't think critically, you know. Because I, I have been thinking critically even about Islam. Yeah, that for example about Satan, that why God created Satan, such a uh, you know, power that fool everybody, and we don't see him, okay? Uh, but yet, I'm going to be punished because Satan fooled me, okay? With that critical thinking, I came to a good uh, conclusion that Satan is not created by God. Satan is a system that we are living uh, in, this, the jungle system that allows people to kill millions of people and become richer and richer. Yeah. So these things started, I was thinking, many people, yeah. they don't just think, you know, it is maybe difficult for them or they don't just care. So for them, easy to follow a scholar, you know, because this scholar has a one meter long beard, okay? Well, we'll see, see, I, I mean, with the best will in the world, I I still think that the the, the reason they are so popular is because most Muslims do think that they have the correct interpretation of the religion. Now, whether you want to argue that point or not, I'm not saying that you don't have the correct interpretation. But what I am saying is that most Muslims, if we had 100 Muslims in a room, 99 of them are going to be closer to Ali Dawa, and maybe one will be closer to somebody like you. And if you have the correct interpretation, um, and it's not just today, because if you look, I mean, bear in mind, most of the time when they're looking, they're, they're giving their interpretations, they are quoting classical Islamic literature, the um, the tafsirs, um, uh, the hadiths and that kind of thing, which generally does support their version of things. Now, I know you can cherry pick with, with hadiths and you can discard some, etc. But it seems that for 1400 years, mm -hmm. generally speaking, most Muslims follow their interpretation. And if this is a book that's easy to understand, how comes all these Muslims throughout 1400 years are getting it all wrong and you've managed to get it right. Okay. Uh, as I said, first of all, I'm not the only one. We are, uh, no, you know, but you're I'm a not... minority. You, I'm yes, sure okay. you we are a minority. Yes. Yes. Minority. Another, yes. We are minority. But the thing is that 
uh, my brother, okay, please understand this. I have said it many times. If I was today born and raised in a, a village in Afghanistan and I didn't have internet or anything, I didn't have this opportunity to go around uh, the world and learn, I would also be a Taliban and uh, chant Allah Akbar and uh, blow perhaps blow up myself, you know, among uh, uh, disbelievers, you know, <laughs> kafir, you know. So sure, sure. I would also be one of them. But why now is because we have this technique. For example, I can now through internet contact my brother Rashid. Okay, he's living in Denmark, and we discuss with each other, and then. He says something and I analyze it and say, oh, yeah, you are right. Okay. So Brother Rashid, for example, is an uh, Arab speaker and we discuss with each other. I can uh, give you a good example. For example, chapter 5, verse 38, yeah, uh, about, about uh, cutting hands of thieves. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, well, uh, sorry, 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 Muji, Muji, yeah. sorry I mean, we, we, we can certainly talk about that. We will get to yeah, that. Okay, I, okay. I, I just, I just want to uh, bring, bring us back to, to the initial question of, because you're talking about, okay, well, if I was, a, um, you know, a, a poor person in Afghanistan without um, uh, modern education, that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I do agree that those kind of economic circumstances do contribute to, you yeah. um, you know, people making the kind of choices where they go out and kill someone, stuff like that. I, I, I do recognise that as a factor. But you probably have just as much extremism, if not more, within Western countries where Muslims have grown up with all the comforts of a Western society, many of them good education, university education, and they're still drawn. I'll, I'll give you an example. Just, re just um, I think it was the end of last year at the start of this year. There was a selection of... Um, Muslim uh, student associations in the Republic of Ireland. Okay, mm -hmm. they have five or six major universities. They they got together and they invited Mohammed Hijab to come and do a talk. And the reason why, because he was the most requested guest by these Muslim university students. Now, these are not people in poverty. These are people who are at the upper echelon. They're intelligent. They're getting a university education, and yet the most popular requested guest was Mohammed Hijab. So how do you square that with this idea that it's down to, you know, poverty and stuff? Okay, yeah. Um, as I uh, said that as well, that in the past, people uh, didn't have education. So we had a lot of, um, you know, scholars who were fooling people. And this has unfortunately has been continuing until today. But we are waking up. I understand that it is, yes, still some people, yes, a lot of people still continuing uh, on their path, you know, because they say, oh, Bukhari, Bukhari, woo, because everybody talk about Bukhari as he is Imam Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, yeah, but this is the time, that's why, look, uh, my brother, that's why they block me, because they cannot defend their position against me, okay, if I open my mouth, the people, if people hear me, people, their followers, then they realize that these people, they cannot like like you saw yourself, uh, uh, Nadir. Nadir couldn't defend. There was another guy. Who, I, agree with you. I agree. Muslim apologist. Yeah, Muslim apologist also called on my channel. And every time I was asking him about these stoning adulterers, he was running away. He was saying, "No, I'm not here to discuss sure. that." They said, "That's why they don't want to discuss such a thing." No, no. I, I, but Muji, I, I yeah. agree with that. And again, I commend your efforts to challenge them on these things. But, but yes. my larger, my larger question here, my larger concern is the fact that mm. you have all these troubles in the first place. And, and as far as mm. I can see, is because whether Muslims are rich, poor, educated, uneducated, mm. an enormous number are attracted to the kind of interpretation that uh, Muhammad mm. Hijab or a Daniel Hakikachu will throw out there. And this is what yeah. concerns me. This is not yeah. just about them blocking you. This is because I think most Muslims interpret it in the classical orthodox way that they do. Okay, I, I say that they are uh, quite perhaps such a people are very traditional, okay? They are afraid perhaps, okay? Uh, so they are not uh, uh, somebody who uh, doubting, okay? Somebody who is, uh, you know, open-minded. I, I better say like this, open-minded to uh, challenge the religion. They just say, oh, oh it's a blasphemy that if I uh, question something, perhaps it is that one. That I cannot say 100% sure, but the thing is that there are two different interpretations of Quran uh, and, uh, you know, Hadith or whatever, 
And we are, uh, I know that we are in minority, but I know according Quran as well, Quran promises us that we will be the majority and we will, uh, you know, the entire planet will be ruled by righteous people, you know, God's righteous people. So there will come a day that, uh, you know, peaceful people, the, the planet will be uh, filled with peace and justice and love. Okay. So this is uh, what sure. I believe. Yes. That's, and, and that's a nice vision. And I, and I would hope that would be the case too. But yes. I will be brutally honest here. I cannot see okay. that ever happening under Islam. Um, I mean, even if you were to be able to persuade more Muslims to see things your way, I mm -hmm. just think there is there, there is so much within the text that needs to okay. be danced around, that needs to be reinterpreted. I mean, okay. let, let's start with the hadiths on this. Do, do, how do you see the hadiths? Do you reject them all? Do you accept some? No, on what basis? Okay. no I, I have said it many times. I have had as well debate with uh, you know quranists who reject all hadiths okay they are on my channel as well uh two at least two debates i have had with uh, quranists and i reject their position because i say uh, we need hadith but i why do you, reject... need, why, why do you need hadiths then mm -hmm. uh because quran says itself that the uh, oh muhammad we give you the quran so you may explain it for, for people so quran needs explanation for people and that was uh, Prophet Muhammad's duty. And uh, yes, there are certain things as well that uh, are in Hadith, but um, for example, I, I can say, I said to one of these Quranists that if we don't follow Hadith, then we don't know what to wear when we go to, to Hajj. It is not mentioned in Quran that we have to wear those uh, equal dresses in uh, or sure. that true material. It no, is I would agree, important. and I think there's far more fundamental things in the hadiths, like number yes. of prayers and those kind of things as well. Yes. But, um, but okay then, but clearly you don't accept all the hadiths. No, no, know. I reject any hadith that goes against Quran. Okay, so my main, uh, you know, uh, yeah, book is Quran, and anything that matches Quran, yes, it is. Uh, Quran says itself in chapter four, verse eighty to eighty-three. Quran says that if you see, uh, you know, these hadiths, many differences with the uh, Quran, then it is not from your Lord. Okay. Okay. But there, that, that, so are you rejecting what many Muslim apologists will call the, uh, the science Sahih. of hadiths? I mean, I, I really Sahih. don't like that term. But, yes. um, but, but the, the, when, you know, they, they will say, okay, we've, we've got certain collections. We've got this, the, I think typically there's six major collections which are considered Sahih and they are accepted by those who will follow those hadiths. They'll be all considered authentic. Um, and that's supposed to be based on chains of narration and reliability and that kind of thing. So are you saying that you just reject all that flat out and will just go with things that are in accordance with your reading of the Quran? Yeah, yeah. I just uh, say if they go against Quran, I reject it. And I don't believe in Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim. They have a lot of fabricated hadiths. OK, and uh, Bukhari was uh, quite a, a great liar because anybody who believed that he memorized 300,000 hadiths must be, you know, some kind of... Uh, I think it was more than that, wasn't it? 600,000, I thought? No, uh, uh, he, they say, or he said, I don't know, he collected 600,000 and he memorized 300,000 of them. Ah, one yeah. of these, uh, yeah, one of these um, uh, scholars or whatever his name is, uh, I, I forgot his name. He was trying so much, so hard, he was trying to to persuade the students or those who were listening that he was a genius, yeah? He would memorize. So that's why he could memorize 300,000 hadiths. So if somebody was so, uh, you know, intelligent or uh, how do you say it, uh, smart to memorize so many hadiths, why he wasn't that smart enough to not memorize 300 fabricated hadiths because he threw them all out. All of them were uh, fabricated except few. He just collected seven thousands of them among yeah. six hundred thousand. You know, no, I, I mean, I, I would agree with you. I mean, to to, to me, mm. I, the the entire apologetics around hadith I find unconvincing in a lot of ways. But the most important thing to me is that the mo the majority of Muslims tend to believe um, in most, if not all, of the authentic um, mm -hmm. hadith collections, which includes Bukhari. Bukhari is still considered i think the most respected 
of the mm-hmm. Hadith collections. And so, again, th- this is not just the current generation of Muslims that have thought this. This is since the Hadiths were written in whenever it was, 9th, 10th century. Um, mm-hmm. They were basically accepted by Orthodox Sunni Muslims. For let, let's, let's stick with the Sunni. Um, yeah. So for you to reject it is... What, what are you getting right that, that that apparently every other almost every other muslim through history is getting wrong okay so uh, let me tell you like this that uh, in all religion not only islam unfortunately a religion is for some people uh, uh, a business okay for example they put their children in uh, you know religious schools christianity judaism islam hinduism or all of them yeah so that their children when they grow they they live on religion, okay? And uh, for example, in Sweden, we have now atheist uh, priests who go uh, to church and they preach, but they are atheists because they have to, you know, feed their children. So this is the way uh, they they make money, okay? And this is not any exception in Islam. So we have a lot of, we have had a lot of uh, mullahs or clerics who have been businessmen, the, uh, these businessmen, their, their uh, business is uh, selling God. And the, the more they sell, the more money they make. Okay, For them, the quality is not important. The quantity is important. And uh, for example, we have now many of them in Iran in 44 years, last 44 years, we see them such a devils they are, such a liars they are, a bunch of mafia, they just worship okay, money. Okay. Yes. I, I mean, I, I mean, yes, I mean, I think we so both no, just 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 for a few seconds, just few seconds. I complete this one that that, of course, because it is their business. Yeah. So, for example, one cleric goes against the major uh, majority of clerics would, uh, uh, you know, damage his business. So that's why they decided, OK, I go with the main, uh, you know, clerics and ordinary people. They didn't have their, you know, the education. They, they couldn't read and write themselves so they just blindly follow these uh you know these clerics that's why but uh, I, it came, but, came like this yeah but muji see i find that difficult to be i mean yes yeah, certainly there are um people who will um use religion um as you say as a business they'll manipulate money out of people yes it's commonplace but yeah. in order for this to explain it you're you're essentially saying that almost all the classical scholars all of those important muslim figures through through history were involved in basically a racket a financial racket against the ordinary muslim to convince them of this phony narrative about what the quran actually says and what allah yeah. wants that no, is no, sorry. I, I didn't say, is, but, but sorry, sorry Mujib, Mujib, just let me finish point just one second so i didn't say all of them okay ne- but no no not all not all not all but okay. nearly all yes yes yeah nearly but, all yes but, okay. but to me that that almost sounds like kind of conspiracy thinking you know there's mm-hmm. been a 1400 year conspiracy to stop the true quran coming out i mm-hmm. find that hard to believe compared to the what seems the more obvious answer okay. is that those muslims genuinely believe that that is okay. how the quran is okay but the, the thing is that uh, this is our interpretation and people can decide themselves we are not going to force anybody to this interpretation you can listen okay uh, for example, I have been myself uh, mistaking some uh, kind of the, the traditional uh, interpretation when I have read other things and then I realized that, yeah, these are um, more, uh, you know, um, rational. So I have accepted those, uh, you know, interpretation as well myself. OK, so people have to listen to uh, to the both side uh, interpretation and decide themselves who is right and who is wrong. So this is uh, up to everybody. Sure, I'm sure. Not going to and, 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 that, and that's fair enough. But as I say, yeah. the, the, the problem I have, if, if somebody presents to me two options and says, this religion for its entirety has been hijacked by people who don't understand it and have deliberately given out a wrong interpretation. And then mm-hmm. there's just been this tiny number within them in each generation that have the correct interpretation and they've been mm-hmm. suppressed. Or is it that the tiny minority have for their own reasons reinterpreted reinterpreted it differently um that might be because they want to modernize that might be because um they they've got problems with parts of the quran and therefore they reinterpret it and everybody else has the correct interpretation to me as a neutral the 
that, that, that second explanation seems more likely that the minority okay. have probably reinterpreted it for their own reasons. Okay. So uh, maybe I, if I give you a fact, okay, then maybe it, it make more sense. Can I give you a fact? Go ahead. Yes. For example, <laughs> the entire history, they believe that Prophet Muhammad, uh, you know, split the moon. Okay. Which is absolutely uh, wrong because I can give you many verses in Quran that says that no Prophet Muhammad didn't have a miracle. Okay. For example, uh, if I just read for you some of the verses of Quran, so you understand yourself, anybody can understand that, yes, they were uh, not miracles, okay? Here, chapter 29, verse 50 and 51. But they say, why are not signs sent down to his him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah, and I am only a clear warner. And is it not sufficient for them that we revealed to you the book which is recited to them? So Quran says that uh, the Quran is enough for you. That's your miracle. Okay. Indeed, in that is a mercy and reminder for people who believe. Chapter six, uh, 6, verse 35. If their aversion is too hard on you, then seek if you can a talent into the earth or a ladder into the sky in order to bring them a sign. Had Allah so willed, he would have brought all of them to the right path. So never be of the ignorance. Chapter 6, verse 37. Chapter 6, verse 109. Chapter 6, verse 111. But, so so many, I'm not going to read all of them. Yeah, so yeah, many okay. verses, yeah. So many verses, yeah, many verses, yeah, many verses here say that, oh, Muhammad, you don't need, uh, uh, what is it, miracle. But these people, but, 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 they but, but, all believe that the Prophet but, Muhammad Muji, has... Muji, Muji, just, yes. someone's just written in the chat here. Um, the moon yes. splitting verse is mentioned in the Quran itself, Quran 54, no, no, 1 to 2. Absolutely not, absolutely not. It's chapter four, uh, 54, verse 1, okay? It is saying that the hour drawn, okay, and the moon split. It doesn't say how many pieces, and it's talking about uh, hour, that the hour came. It is talking about the end, okay? And doesn't say who split the moon, and it doesn't say what happened. Nearly over 70 verses in Quran says how Prophet Moses, uh, you know, performed a single miracle that the stick became snake. 70, more than 70, from before until he performed it and then after what happened everything why so why would it be clear. significant for the moon to split if muhammad didn't do it no the thing is that if quran doesn't mention it okay if quran doesn't say it when he, he says that you don't need miracle oh we gave miracle to previous prophets and they said it is magic okay so why you think that if you give you miracle they would believe quran said like I, this. I, I, are you saying that Muhammad um, didn't perform any miracles at all? Any miracle, not not a single miracle. He just had the Quran. He said, "Quran says your the uh, miracle, your miracle is Quran." So it is clearly mentioned about Moses and Jesus that they had miracles. It says that they did this, they did that, but not a single word that Prophet Muhammad split the moon or Prophet Muhammad dropped, for example, his stick and became snake. Not a single word in Quran. So that's why, and that chapter 54, verse 1, is about the hour. It clearly says, and then when you read for that, it's talking all the time about the end, you know, the other side, and what happened there, and so on. So it doesn't say a single word that Prophet Muhammad is the moon. And I, chapter 5, verse 38, I also can go through that one for you to prove you that these people, they, they misinterpreted Quran. Okay, so okay. I can go through that well, one look, also. Uh, okay, well, look, he, here's my question then. Yeah. How comes that all of the bits which have been misinterpreted by the orthodox kind of classical Sunni interpretation, why are they always seem to be bits that are contentious in the modern age? So, for example, stoning, child marriage, blasphemy, killing disbelievers. How comes it's always these verses that have been misinterpreted, but anything that's neutral or positive? Like, I've never heard anybody say, oh, no, actually, you got it. when Muhammad says to take care of, or the Quran says to take care of orphans, 
I've never heard a Muslim say, oh, no, you've misinterpreted that. No, actually, what it means is, is that you shouldn't take care of orphans. It always seems to be the, the what I would call the bad bits of the Quran that seems to need this reinterpretation. Is that just a, an amazing coincidence? Uh, sorry, I have to. <laughs> sorry. I no, I did something wrong. With, uh, played with this uh, screen now. Uh, Do you want me to maybe... just? Re re I'll, I'll repeat the question a bit shorter. No, now. no, no. Can I can I go out and come back again? Because uh, I think I made a mistake. I pushed something. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you've I got the link, haven't you? You've got the link to come back in. Uh, can you put it? Let me see yeah. if I can I'll, see the. Look, I'll, I'll okay. remove you from the stream and then I'll bring you back in. Oh uh, yeah, bring me back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I... Sorry, folks. We're just taking a minute to. Uh... I'm not sure what's going on with Muji. Um, everyone in the chat, I, I am seeing your questions and I will be putting them to them as, as, as we go along. Um, I'm just going to wait for Muji to uh, sort out his tech problems. Okay, I think we're good to go. All right, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Now all right. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you repeat the question again now? Yeah, so my question is. It, it always seems to be that the contentious parts of the Quran, things like um, child marriage and um, uh, beating wives and all, all these things that are quite negative, they okay. always seem to be the things that have been misinterpreted. Yet, if you take a positive verse or a neutral verse, um, apparently that's always correct. There's no misinterpretation there. So to me, that seems a little bit convenient that it's only the bad bits that seem to be misinterpreted. So, OK, now, uh, can I answer that question? Yeah. Okay, chapter, we have to uh, read it from Quran itself. Chapter 3, verse 7 says, It is he who has sent down to you, O Muhammad, the book. In it are verses that are precise. They are the foundation of the book. And others, and specific. As for those whose heart is corrupted, they will follow that of it which is unspecific, desiring to create confusion and their own interpretation. And no one knows its true interpretation except Allah and those firm in knowledge. And they say, we believe in it. All of it is from our Lord and no one will be uh, reminded except of understanding. So in Quran, we have precise verses, okay, which you don't need interpretation. So of course I would say, yeah, it is a correct, you know, th there is precise, it is precise verse. And there are unspecific verses of yeah. Quran. So unfortunately, this is about unspecific verses of Quran that those whose heart is corrupted, yeah, they have misinterpreted because of their own agenda, yeah, because of their own interest. So that's why we are trying to say, no, these people have misinterpreted. Yeah, yeah, verses. no, no, I get that. I do get that. But Muji, well, yes. why is it always the ones that need reinterpreting or, or the ones that have been misinterpreted are always the ones which are um the things that make islam look bad i mean for example like like you don't you don't get free uh, i've never heard an apologist say well actually this you know this part about how much inheritance somebody get that's that's been misinterpreted because that's fairly neutral it's not okay. you know it's not a moral issue in any great way <laughs> But okay. um, but when it when it comes to wife beat, when it comes to child marriage and stuff like that, suddenly it's been misinterpreted. I find that extremely convenient that it always works out that way. Okay, so for example, there is no child marriage. Okay, in Quran, the verse clearly say women. It doesn't say girls. Say among your women, those who haven't seen their menstruation because of, of course, a different reason that they haven't. Uh, they have had uh, irregular menstruation, or maybe they are pregnant, just the menstruation hasn't come. So it says that their uh, time is also three months. But these people who want to, you know, interpret it as child marriage say that those who ha haven't had the menstruation, the pre uh, prebescent girls, yeah, which yeah. is not, it says in saying an nisa, an nisa in Arabic means women is not girls. And then it says, uh, and if they are prepescent girls, why they should wait three months in that case? They are not pregnant. It doesn't make sense that a prepescent girl has to wait three months in order to see if she's pregnant or not. So this well, is about a woman that can let's get move, pregnant. Let, okay, yes. but Muji, let, let's move to something that's a bit more clear-cut, slavery. Yeah, okay. 
Now, All right, about, what, yes. now the, the phrase what your right hand possesses is understood to mean your slaves. Okay. And the Quran allows you not only to own slaves, but also to have sex with them if you're a Muslim man. So okay. how are you going to reinterpret that? All right. First of all, uh, uh, that your right hand possess. There is a video Brother Rashid has made, and I have also shared it on my channel. Right hand possess is not necessarily a slave because a slave is clearly in Quran is abd is not your right hand possess. Your right hand possess is about even uh, you know immigrant, uh, for example, like today we uh, refugees and so on. So Quran clearly want to release the slaves and says that uh, let me read for you a verse of Quran. Uh, but but, why, but hang, hang on, Muti. What? Why would the slaves need to be released if if the uh, Quran doesn't allow slaves? Are you saying that the Quran does not allow slaves, or that it can you can have slaves? Look, uh, my brother, you have to understand as well that, for example, today. Uh, go to India. There are so many child slaves. Child no, 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 no. Slaves. Sorry, sorry, Muji. Okay. Sorry, sorry. No, no, okay. no disrespect, but I'm not. I'm not going to let the conversation be distracted by comparing it to other examples. I'm talking okay. about the Quran. Does the Quran allow you to own slaves? Yes or no? Okay. Uh, I mean, it doesn't allow you to, uh, you know, get slaves. Okay. Does but, it allow you to uh, own them? Yeah, because I, as I said, it was the time. It wasn't the time that uh, you know. Ask them. Uh, yeah, if you, re I read this verse for you. You understand? Oh, are you saying yes? Them, the Quran does no. allow you to own slaves. Look, one of the greatest crimes in Quran is having the slaves. Okay, owning the slaves. But because does it allow I, you? Does Does the Quran allow you to own a slave? Yes or no? For the time, yes. For, right, because, because yes for the time, it, yes. okay for okay the time. No, no all right yes. let me just get a quick follow-up question yes if the quran allows you to own a slave okay why is it then considered a moral thing to release a slave because if the quran is allowed you to own it in the first place surely there's nothing wrong with it no look uh it is a situation it was a situation people had slaves okay uh and releasing all these slaves would create problems economic problems because they were uh, you know running the economy as well and another thing is that it was bad for the slaves as well to be on the street yeah, okay they had a place but quran has made sure that they have their rights and they get released chapter mm. 9 verse 60 says that all tax is only for those for the poor and the needy for those employed to ad, uh, administrate it, uh, for those whose hearts are at, at, attracted to the faith, for freeing slaves, for freeing slaves. So Allah says that all tax has to be for freeing the slaves, for those in debt, for Allah cows uh, and for needy travelers. This is an obligation for from Allah and Allah is all knowing all ever. Right. So one of the obligation for Muslims was to freeing the slaves. Okay? Well, it, well, no, no, it, it's considered a good act. It's not an obligation. There's nothing that says you are forced. No, you are commanded says, by God to release. My them. brother, it's re I read it now yeah. for you. It says one of it is obligation so that you free the slaves. Okay, yeah. that the, you no, use this which, which which verse are you talking about? Chapter nine, verse sixty. Okay. Say that, that yes, that, yeah. Right. Says that the yeah says that these uh, all tax are for these things, and right. one of them is, and this is an obligation that you use it for such a things. Yeah, giving to sorry, travel. Quran to, nine, sorry, nine fifteen. 60, 60. No, six zero. Six, oh, six zero. I beg your pardon. Sorry, yes, nine six sixteen. Zero. Yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look. Um, nine sixty. So. Mm -hmm. The arms are meant only for the poor and the needy and those who are in charge thereof, those whose hearts are to be reconciled and to free, free those in bondage and to help those burdened with debt and for the expenditure in the way of Allah and for the wayfarer. So that's the verse you're talking about. Yeah. Right. That doesn't say it's a it's a, an obligation. That's saying that the, the so the arms, so the, the money that you raise for the poor. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't see, it, it, I don't see, I don't read that as saying that you have to free your slaves. Okay, it says uh, uh, it is an obligation, and I read it. There's no you. word obligation. Okay, 
uh, we have to go to different, uh, you know, well, let me read for you. Uh, chapter 26, verse 22 says, Moses said, is this a favor of which you remain, remind me that you have enslaved the children of Israel? Chapter 7, verse 127, Pharaoh said, we will slaughter their sons and keep their women alive. Indeed, we are subjecting them. Chapter 23, yeah, verse but, yeah, but that, 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 no, no, Neither of those are talking about an obligation to... to no, no, I said that these are the biggest crime of Pharaoh to enslaving people. So enslaving yep. people, it's a crime, okay? If it's so, a crime, then why does the Quran allow you to keep a slave? Look, it doesn't say that you may... Uh, get slaves if the, it was in favor of slavery then there should be a single verse but, that say that buy or sell slaves for example where, where does to it say you can't, uh, sorry sorry Muji, where does it say that you can't buy a slave it doesn't say to buy a slave at, uh, ever or sell slave okay yeah so you there can do no, it, no, it i mean muhammad say, himself yes. muhammad himself bought yes. slaves no this is uh you know uh this is hadith and one of them was for example Bilal, who was free, they bought it to free him because they were going to kill him, okay? But he wasn't so, the only that, slave that he owned. Yes, the only slave that they just bought it so that they get, they, he doesn't get killed because he but, was, they were torturing him and they were going to kill him, so yeah. they should, yeah. But he's not the only him, slave, okay? he's not the only slave that Muhammad owned, so. Uh, okay, no, it is, uh, look, they, they have enforced a lot of fabricated hadiths to make their, uh, it is not only that, is about okay. stoning adulterers okay. as well. But, but, but okay. no, no, let me let me go back to a point that you said because you said okay, you you did agree that the Quran says that you can own a slave, and the reason that you said was at the time it was too too big. Uh, the economy depended on the slavery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. So therefore, it couldn't be released. It would it not have been within Allah's power to set up a situation where he can free the slaves and their economy would carry on? Why is that okay. outside of God's power? All right, look, this is not about uh, his, I understand, I can explain the way I understand, okay? And it's up to you to accept it or- uh, No, that's not, well, this is why we're okay, talking. Yes, this is yes yeah, we are just talking, yes, exactly. So I believe that, um, you know, uh, Allah could uh, do everything, you know, right away, fix every problem. But the thing is that he, I understand that he had a reason to create us on this planet, okay? And the reason was to, fix things that we fix things by his guidance okay but he waited millions of years until we develop and slowly slowly change he didn't want to change anything overnight by himself except sure. by giving us uh, you know but this is uh for me i see the beauty uh, uh I'm a, yes i saw I mean, that i, I understand that I understand that but what, what i'd like to say Muji, is that thank thanks to not giving an outright ban the muslim mm -hmm. world never gave up slavery ever they were forced every muslim country in the world was forced to give up slavery by non pressure from non muslim countries from the outside okay uh, unfortunately um i haven't uh, read that story and but there was the slavery yeah, i know i know i know that there was a slavery and i know that uh, muslims even uh, uh, what is it the companion of prophet muhammad after his death, they started to kill each other. So it doesn't mean that Islam allows them to do that. So it was uh, people who mis were misguided. They were not right. correctly guided. Sure. Yes. But, so but, but, uh, anyway, anyway, the, the, uh, anyway, what I understand, the slavery is oppression is something sure. against God. I, I, I would agree. I, yeah, yeah, it's oppression. I agree. It's a great crime. But yeah. the, the problem yeah. I have is, is that you seem to be suggesting that it's it would be worse to free the slaves and have some economic problems than directly to... right away right away yes it was well it well was... yeah because well well i mean look at other countries i mean america fought a bloody civil war which yeah. was in large part due to slavery and at the end of that war slavery was ended now i'm not saying that was the end of the problems for black americans obviously you had lots of other things that they they went through in the 19th century etc but yeah. slavery was done as an official thing at the end of that war how comes these very human people who had had a war which killed six hundred thousand people all, all 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 allah would have had to say is it's forbidden to own a slave then it would have been down to the muslims to work out okay how are we going to reorder society to free the slaves it's not an impossible thing other countries did it okay 
Look, you just don't have to put the law. It has to be possible to impose it as well. And I was going to give you a good example, but you didn't allow me. Let me please explain that. Uh, you know, go ahead, go ahead. Today, yes, today I have been to India. I was uh, making a documentary about population of India. It was 2001. And I was living in a house uh, with a Hindu family. They had two uh, children one 12 another 15 they were living in their house like slaves okay they were just giving some uh, little money they were waking up five in the morning until late at night they should work for just a very little money and many they were that uh, uh, woman i was living with with she was saying many of these families that these children are working there they don't give them even their salary and they threw them out and so on but there are millions of millions of such a children are, are are working let me please finish they are working and making some money sending to their families okay uh, for example one of them 12 years old she uh, her mom had left them her two small children were living with the grandma and she was making 1000 uh, rupees that time i was living there sending them for she was already a mother at 12 yeah sending them so banning child labor in India is a disaster. Millions of people need children's help, okay? So you have to have a system like Sweden, then you can say child slavery or child labor is forbidden because Sweden, you have this economy system. Well, that well hang, hang on, we're, we're not talking about child labor. We're talking about owning a person as people. I am saying, I'm is yes, I'm comparing this the same that you cannot ban something that make a, a bigger disaster un, unless you have this, uh, you know, uh, system that, uh, you know, slowly, slowly, for example, in India as well, they should slowly, slowly fix the problem and slowly, slowly says that these, these children shouldn't work. These children have to have their childhood. They have to go to school and so on. They yeah. cannot do it right away. But, 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 I, I, uh, yeah. my, my problem with that, Muji, is that what, what Muslim society in those 1400 years made any steps towards ending slavery? Because I can't see any example when okay. I've looked, I've looked at North Africa, I've looked at um, the Indian subcontinent, I've looked everywhere where Muslims are predominant over the last thousand or so years. Yeah. There's no genuine, I, I, I'm not aware of any and abolition movement, I'm not aware, yes. aware of any proper anti-slavery movement. So it yeah. seemed like Muslims were quite happy to let slavery go on forever. I understand. I said that. I said that even... Uh, companion of Prophet Muhammad, they were killing each other. It doesn't mean that they were, you know, falling. As a Muslim, I see that slavery is, uh, you know, oppression. It's something that God doesn't like it. Pharaoh's biggest crime was uh, slavery and so on. So as a Muslim, I understand that it is uh, a crime. So why they didn't understand it, it is their fault and they will be well, judged they, 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 well, No, I think they didn't understand it because... Okay. Allah allowed slavery in the Quran. That's why. No, he didn't. Okay, I said yeah, no, he, he did. He yeah, did. you said. He, I mean, that. he didn't forbid it. Okay, like directly say that it is yeah. haram. But, but he did. Like yeah, that. but he did forbid. He he forbid eating pork. He for, forbade gambling, interest on loans, all these kind yes. of things that were banned straight away. Okay. Why not? As, 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 yes. So as it, I said. And again, yes. there are examples. There are examples in history, like with America, where slavery was done overnight. Do you think America in the in the nineteenth century had some kind of welfare system that would pick up all the slaves? No, they had to deal with the consequences, but they did it. So okay. it is possible. So I, I don't buy this argument. This argument is really weak as far as I'm concerned to try and defend slavery. Right. But I explained, so it's up to everybody to, yeah, it's okay. I just No, that's said, fine, that's fine. Okay, yes. So I, I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, just... All right, well, yeah, all right. We don't, we don't need to labor the point, obviously. I think yeah, okay. Kind of... So I, about, about that, uh, uh, I will put this uh, video that Brother Rashid, uh, you know, has made about slavery. So I put it here as well in the uh, main chat so that people uh, can well, I don't, watch I don't think you'll have access. I think only I can put If you put it in a private chat, I'll copy it over. And, and yeah, please. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, but people have the, I don't know why uh, people, other people have the access to, to write comment. Yeah, I, I, it's, I don't understand it for some reason. When you, okay. it's only the the host can do it, but let, let me just put that into the because I was putting going to put it through, uh, you know, 
Okay, perhaps I have to be a little No, it's all right. I've got it in a private chat. Let me just... Now I put it, yeah. Now I put it. I could put it now. I, well, I'll put it in the main chat now, so that's fine. All right, okay. Um, I'll put it also in the main chat. So people can watch it, Brother Rashid, uh, through different verses of Quran. He's an Arab speaker, and uh, he also has a, a lot of, uh, you know, views like me as well. And, uh, yeah. You can watch it and then sure. you can decide yourself. No, that's well. fine. Well, okay. it's in the chat, so people couldn't click on the link and they can make yes, up their okay. own mind on it. Yeah. Um, see, the the thing for me, and again, to, to sort of broaden the issue out a bit, is and to go back to this um, reinterpretation. Mm -hmm. Some critics, some critics will say that your your reinterpretations are trying to fit the modern world's morality so mm -hmm. where we've come to the understanding that things like slavery is wrong things like okay. wife being ordered and then you're reinterpreting it to fit the modern morality of the day so what would you say to that oh uh, i don't know i mean that uh, this is their, <laughs> their understanding but uh, what i uh, i can say is that islam is against any uh, one of the greatest things that Allah hates is oppression and slavery all these things even wife beating is oppression okay so I don't believe that Allah allows me to oppress someone who is weaker than me by you know beating her just because she's a woman and uh, well, it's not even, because she's a woman it's because she's being disobedient that's your no, no it's word. not about no it's not about disobedience uh, we can go through that verse as well it is uh, nashus has been used in chapter 4 verse 128 as well for women if they fear also nashus from their husband okay so if it is disobedience then uh, a husband can be also disobedient to a uh, wife so this word has been used for both man and woman if she fear that her husband is disobedient, which is not, it is actually a disloyalty, a sexual disloyalty. And that's why if he fears, okay, if he fears that she has been, you know, some in his absence, that she has had some affair or something, then there are procedures that he has to make, talk to her, separate his bed, and then the last is to leave her, okay? And verse yeah. next one, 35, says that if you fear that they are separated, they don't want to come back, then send somebody from her family and his family to bring them back together. It's not from... But, but again, uh, you know, it, it, yeah, but Muti, if I go through every single uh, uh, one of the uh, Quran translations, all the popular ones, Sahih International, everything else, it always mm -hmm. says some version of hit or beat. It doesn't say okay. leave. Okay, that, but I have uh, also version that says leave her if you want me to show you if you want well, but what version you. is this okay what? let me let me uh, because we're, we're, we're uh, you know i don't mean this disrespectfully but this seems no, like no, no, a question okay. that you've you've kind of conjured up from thin air because i, no, I, is, I say that it's not only the only one i have the persian persian as well one that says leave and there are other you know for example doctor um uh, Safi Kaskas. Uh, uh, let me see if I can find this. But would you, would you acknowledge? Would you acknowledge that pretty much all the mainstream interpretations say something like beat or hit? Uh, yes, I know. Yes, they say that. Even look, even in chapter five, verse thirty-eight, all of them, even this uh, 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 Safi Kaskas that says leave her in chapter four, verse uh, thirty-four. Yeah, he say leave her. Even he, on that chapter 538 about thieves, says chop off their hands, which I can show you clearly that it is not that. It is absolutely wrong. There is no such a thing, okay? And I can prove you if you want, okay? If you um, give me time. Uh, sorry, Muti, just one second. I just want to respond to a comment here um, from Earth yes. is Flat. He says, it seems that you want the most violent, and he's talking to me here. It seems yeah. that you want the most violent interpretation to be the correct interpretation in order for you to be able to criticize Islam. No, that's not the case. I would be the happiest person on this planet if everybody genuinely, if all Muslims genuinely interpreted it the way that Muji does. Okay. I would, I, I doubt I would have a channel quite frankly okay. so Thank i'm you. i'm not i'm not looking for the most violent interpretation but my problem is is the fact that most muslims and and all of pretty much all the mainstream interpretations that i have seen online in my own quran that i own at home they all say 
these th these violent words. So it's not that I want it to be that way. It's well, that they're yeah. written that way, and most Muslims um, agree that it's that way. Yeah, drastic. I would like to ask you because you seem to be a fighter, and those who listen, please call to this EF Dawa and you know Hamza Din and others. Please ask them, all of you, just call them and ask them to. Uh, debate me. Let's see if I am wrong, then I leave Islam. Okay? You want somebody to leave Islam, then if I'm wrong that Islam is what I say, if it is not this, if it is what ISIS and Taliban says, that I have been fighting such an Islam sure. in 40, 40, 44 years. So I leave Islam and I'm already saying that my main enemy are these uh, extremist Muslims. Sure, so no, no, and, and I believe I believe that you are sincere when you say that. I believe yeah, that. Yeah, so, so please just call them when they are live and ask them, push them that why you are well, afraid of perfect... I did, I did actually, Hamza from Hamza's Den did actually make comments on a video which I did uh, criticising him. And I did yeah, ask him to come on my channel. I said, I'm, you know, come on, we'll debate um, whatever you like. And uh, he refused. I made him five. But the, look, drastic. The problem, sorry, the problem is that you cannot debate them. They say right away, you are a kafir. But they cannot say to me, okay, that's yeah, why. But they see you as a kafir as well, though. They no, say. no, no. They cannot see me as a kafir. I can even prove them through Quran that kafir is not a disbeliever. Kafir, the, the, uh, you know, even Prophet Muhammad was a kafir, according to Quran. Can you imagine? But he was a good kafir. The Quran says, uh, I can read for you, yeah? Those who reject the, the, the oppression, the reject is kafir. Those who kuf, commit kuf against oppression, okay? So prophets of God, they were those who commit kuf against the oppression. So that we have a good yeah. kafir, we have a bad kafir. Kuf is rejecting Satan, according to Quran, was a kafir. Oh. Not because he disbelieved yeah. in God, because he rejected his command. So if you sure. reject <laughs> God's commands, which is paying, you know, uh, giving to uh, giving charity, you know, all these things that I said uh, to you, this is a cough. Yes. But yeah. not believing in God is not a cough. No, because it yeah, is. But, yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but the, the yes. thing is, in I, OK, I, I, I can't definitely say this is true, but it, it would seem to me that they would all say that your interpretation is so far removed from the and traditional... That's why they, then why they run away from me. If they can't say that, if they can prove it, why they run away like this Nader? Well, you'd, 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 well, you'd, have, to, you'd have to ask them, but... Yes, I, that's, why I, <laughs> I, that's why I want that you or others, please call them and ask them why well, they don't say it on my face, why they don't sit and talk to me. They talk to Christians hours and hours, yeah. okay? Well, I'd, I'd imagine part of the reason they don't want to talk to you is because they don't want a a uh, somebody who is a Muslim challenging mm -hmm. them. Okay, yeah, so I'd exactly. say that's that, that's probably at least one mm -hmm. of the reasons. But um, because they cannot say I'm kafir, but to you they can say that. Oh, come on, you are a kafir. You well, don't yeah, I mean, I don't. I, I mean, I I don't care what they they would say about me. I mean, I say all sorts of things about them, and um, I don't I don't hide my absolute disdain for them. So they can no, say whatever no, they like. What I'm them. drastic. What I'm saying to he, their followers. To their followers, they can say that, okay, he was a kafir. So their followers, yes, say, yeah, he was a kafir. But to me, they cannot say because I can bring them from Quran. I, if I bring them facts yeah, but, from Quran, they, yeah, but, I am but, a but believer. Mujie, Mujie, hang, hang, hang on one second. Yes. Hang, hang yes, on one yes. second. They, yes. they, 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 I think they will say you're a kafir because what they'll say is you've removed yourself from the fold of Islam by not following the traditional teachings. I've seen Muhammad Hijab say that about all kinds of Muslims. I've okay. seen even like somebody like the impactful scholar um, in his comment section, it's full of uh, Muslims saying you're not a real Muslim. So it, it, this is the attitude. So I, I don't really okay. think they're going to see you that much differently to me. Okay, so, sorry. Somebody in the chat say bank is yeah, style line. This man is an agent of the Iranian regime. <laughs> it's such a, I don't understand people. I have said that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he's making a joke or not. Yeah, not sure, yes, but, I don't um, know. Because I've said that I have fought the Iranian regime in 44 years. I'm the supporter of the greatest enemy of Iranian regime. My brother have been executed by this regime. And then you hear say this guy is an Iranian agent. <laughs> well, Iranian I, agent. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, got, I don't know if he's making a joke or whatever, but um, how are you doing, Banksy style? Um, yeah, thank you for uh, reminding people to hit the like button and everything. Um, yeah, I, see, again, it just, it, 
to me, it comes back to the same issue of the yeah. fact that, yes, if, if your interpretation was widely accepted, then I would have far less of a problem with Islam. But mm -hmm. I, again, I just find it too difficult to believe that, no, number one, this book is supposed to be clear, yet you have to do so much reinterpretation. You have to, you have to reject all of the hadiths that you don't find fits that new interpretation. This really does feel like, if I'm being honest, I'm trying to be as charitable as possible, but just as yes, an actual looking at this, I'm thinking if it needs, if it needs this much work to make mm -hmm. it uh, fit the correct interpretation, something smells wrong here. This, this, this feels like somebody who is just uncomfortable with some yes. parts of the Quran and is trying to change yes. it. Now I could understand that you seem like yeah. a, a, a good man with a conscience. Thank and I, I think this is more, I'd, I'd say this is why you're reinterpreting things rather than, um, you know, it, it, again, because you're not reinterpreting any of the more neutral or the more positive ones. It's only this okay. bad stuff. So, okay. It, no. Okay, let me say, let me tell you something. First of all, <clears throat> I know that, um, first of all, I read for you chapter three, verse seven, Quran was saying, God was saying that, no, it is not that clear. There are un unspecific verses of Quran that only Allah and his, uh, those firm in knowledge understand it. So it is not that clear. And I'm also sad myself, yeah. I wish that it was that clear. I wish that it was, uh, you know, <clears throat> more, for example, I don't know. He he could give me a uh, you know a miracle today that I could, for example, split the moon and show people that yes, God exists and it is His commands and what I say is correct. <laughs> you know all these things, but yeah. God seems uh, not to do that. Okay, there was an atheist told me that why God doesn't uh, you know update His uh, commands uh, like Microsoft uh, you know update its uh, software Good every year. Good yes, question. yes. Yeah, so I, I yes, that, that's that question is there, yeah, and I wish that he did it, yes, but he hasn't done it. But I understand it, as I said, that he wants us. Uh, he wasn't in a hurry. He waited four and a half billion years until the Earth becomes like this, and he waited millions of years until we from trees uh, come to the cities and then you know create this civilization. Okay. So. So he was not in a hurry and he knows that we will reach that moment one day. And I know that yes. I believe in it. That I, one no, no, day I, 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 I believe yes. you're sincere when you say these yes. things. I'm not, I'm not yes. questioning your sincerity. Yes. What I'm going to do, if you don't mind, Moji, uh, Moji yes. is um, there's a couple more questions that I want to ask yes, you. And then, and then after that, I might just scroll back through the comments and just yes. we'll, we'll read off any questions and stuff. And if yes. anybody wants to ask any more questions, please put them in the chat and we'll get to them shortly. Um, there's two, two other areas I want to touch on. Mm -hmm. um, atheists like myself. Do we burn in hell forever? No. I no. said um, in my organization as well, okay, we believe that uh, even a Marxist uh, will go to heaven. Even, <laughs> uh, even yes, we believe even, uh, uh, what is it, Mahatma Gandhi, who was, uh, you know, uh, a Hindu or uh, a pagan, he will go to heaven for his good deeds. There are lots of verses in Quran that says that you go, to heaven for your good deeds. Welcome to heaven for your for what you used to do. It is not about what you uh, think or believe in. It's about what you do in this world. Heaven is for those who do good deeds. It is in Quran. I can read for you many verses of Quran. Yeah, but I mean, it it it, it is a requirement to believe in a creator. No, no, no. It's not. It's not a requirement. It's good that you believe because you will follow the message perfectly. But if you don't believe and you just do good deeds, that Allah will remove, he says himself, he will forgive you for your minor sins if you avoid major sins, okay? And major sins are, you know, killing innocent people and doing, you know, oppressing people and all this. Your minor uh, bad sure, things... But it, but it isn't like, it isn't the, uh, the test of life um, supposed to be that you recognize and worship the creator. No, no, I'm not worshipping the creator, <clears throat> okay? He doesn't need my worship. You don't pray? I, um, no, I pray, yes, but I'm not worshipping him, okay? I am obeying him. I believe that we obey him, not worshipping him. He doesn't need our worship. He needs our obe obedience to his commands, 
because of ourselves, not because of him. He doesn't need anything. If I obey him to give charity, if I obey him to do not do bad deeds, it's good for you, my brother. It's good for other people. Okay, all is about us. Yeah. Okay, it's not about him. I mean, the, okay? the, these are these are such basic things in 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 the Quran and in the classic interpretation of the Quran that you have to acknowledge and worship the one true creator he's the only i mean it's part of the shahada isn't it i mean to recognize there is only one god that's worship uh, that's worthy of worship okay i say that uh that shahada is uh, actually doesn't exist it's also something that um, you know there is no word that you have to give shahada but it is uh, yes we believe that he exists okay but i say it is not uh the the only way that you go to heaven okay yes it's one of the ways that you go to heaven but it is not the only way that you go so, to heaven so, so if, if i if i believe in god there it's so okay the muslims those those who uh recognize allah as the one creator do they all go to heaven at not least all. yeah all. yeah wait, wait, let, let me finish i know okay. i know much of the interpretation says that you can go to he um, hell for some amount of time as a Muslim for your sins, but eventually all Muslims will go to heaven. So okay, what do you no. think about that? And I, uh, let me see. I don't believe that, uh, for example, depend on what you say, Muslims. For example, Ayatollah fascist Khomeini, what, uh, he called himself Muslim, but he, he goes where Adolf Let, Hitler... Let's not go to extreme what? cases. Let's just say yes. you, your average okay. standard Muslim. Okay, let me read for you from Quran, chapter 107, verse 1. Have you seen the one who denies the religion? That This is 107, chapter 107, verse 1 through 7, okay? That is the one who repulses uh, the orphans and does not encourage the feeding of the poor. So woe to those who pray. This is about those who pray, those who believe, yet are not mindful of their prayers. Those who only show off and refuse to give even the simplest aid. So Quran in these verses also put believers beside these believers who do the same thing. They don't give charity. They don't take care of orphans and so on. So it is not about what you say. It's about what you do in Islam. Okay, A, a person, uh, for example, Ernesto Che Guevara, who sacrificed his life for his own kind, he is in the rank of prophets of God, according to Quran, okay? So he goes to heaven, but Ayatollah Fascist Khomeini, ISIS, Taliban, they go to hell, okay? So this is uh, our understanding of Quran. But, but, yes. but, but Muti, let's, I mean, let's go to uh, Quran. Um, yeah. um, sorry, I'm trying to find a verse here. Um, Surah 39, uh, 11. Okay. Say, Muhammad saw, verily, I'm commanded to worship Allah alone by obeying him and doing religious deeds uh, sincerely for Allah's sake only and not to show off, not to set up rivals, right? He's commanded to worship Allah. So okay. how can you how can you say that, that you, you don't have to okay, worship? Yeah. No, it is, uh, first of all, it's obeying, okay? As I said, it is obeying. And you obey God because of his commands. You don't obey God because he's, a, I said, I am a Muslim that because, not because God exists, not because Prophet Muhammad was prophet of God. I'm a Muslim because I found the way out of this jungle we are living in, in Islam. Yes. If, if God cannot save us, if God cannot guide us out of our problems, I'm not going to worship him. I say it right away here. Okay. Sure. No, 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 no. Sure. That's fair enough. But, 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 yes. but it's, isn't even if we're going to accept that, and I, I, you know, I, I find that very hard to believe that it's not about worship because it's said enough yeah. times in the Quran, in the Hadith, etc. But let's assume okay. that's right. If, if, if I'm, if I'm not obeying um, Allah's okay. commands, then I'm going against Allah. So therefore, I'm going to go okay. to hell, right? Again, yes. Again, if you are not obeying him, means that you are not going to do good deeds. You are doing bad deeds. No, but it also Even, means that if I drink, if I drink alcohol, if I if I eat pork, if I okay. don't do no, 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 no. Yes, that, yes. Okay. No, that those are. Look, I said. Uh, first of all, if you drink alcohol and then drive over a, a human being, yes, that's 
not only Allah will punish you, even uh, the, the government will punish you here in this world. Yes? Yeah, but we're not talking about it. You're, you're adding conditions yeah. here. I'm just talking about yes. drinking. It's forbidden yes. to drink alcohol, is it not? Yes, yes, yes. Look. So if I drink uh, alcohol, I'm not following Allah's command. So therefore, yes. I should go to hell, right? Uh, no, look. I said that Allah will f uh, forgive your... I don't know how big is that, but I'm sure that that's not a big crime. In, in Islam, Allah says that I forgive you for your minor bad deeds if you avoid major bad deeds. He well, knows well, 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 how do you determine what's minor and what's major? So minor, uh, for example, is, of course, uh, eating pork and... Uh, you yeah, know, but, yeah, but how, how do you, what, what says that that's only a minor sin? Okay, uh, I don't know, because I just say that the, the most important thing is, uh, you know, the uh, oppression killing people, all these bad deeds, this kind of bad deeds are well, the I major. Would agree, I would agree that they're major. I would agree with you just as a person with a conscience, yes. with, a, with morality. But yes. where does it say that in the Quran, that those are the major ones and pork and alcohol is the minor one? Yeah, because uh, the, um, actually it's mostly oppression. Yes, in, in Quran that is mentioned everywhere that it is uh, a major bad deeds, oppression. So it is not yeah, but disbelief. That, uh, disbelief is a major. Um, no, no, disbelief is not. Where, where is the oh, dis come on! Disbelief? It's throughout the Quran. Yes, that's that's kafir. Yeah, that's kafir. Okay, and kafir is not disbelief. I said that kafir is rejecting his commands, and I said that uh, even Satan. Can I? Uh, you want me to read for you uh, about no, no. kafir? That no, why, no, no. I, th I think you've done this with 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 people who you've debated in the past. So I don't think we need okay. to go over that. But the point is, right, okay. if, if 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 I'm not following his commands, then I'm rejecting his commands. So therefore, I'm going to go tell. And if his commands include things like eating pork and drinking alcohol, then I'm in a lot of trouble, aren't I? No. Yeah, look, I said that he uh, God knows that you make mistake. You might not understand. No, it's not, okay. it's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. I openly reject the idea that Allah exists and I drink okay. alcohol. And you know, alcohol. okay, and you know that Allah exists, but you reject it, yeah? But, you know, you no, know. No, no, I understand that he doesn't exist. So, exactly. So, it is, uh, he knows that you uh, don't understand. You are not rejecting because you are a bad person, okay? You are rejecting because you just simply didn't get it, okay? And I know. A scholar, well, I've read it. I've, re I've read the Quran. I've read the Quran. Yes. I've read it from cover to cover, and I and yes. I find it completely unconvincing. Okay, yeah, I understand. No, I say that yes, you read it, but you are unconvinced. So it's not about that. You uh, Quran says that those who uh, the prophets and those who spread the message of equality, the killer of them is equivalent to the killer of a prophet. Yeah. And, uh, you know, warn them for a great punishment. And according to a great scholar, okay, a great scholar, Quran talks about non-Muslims. It's not talking about Muslims. It says those. When it says those, it means anyone who spread the message of equality. And he was saying that Quran knows that some people might not have heard the message or they have heard the message, but they didn't get it like you. Yeah. You have heard it, well, but you didn't get it. No, no, I did. I, I did get it. The, the, the message is contradictory and quite horrifying. Okay, so <laughs> it means that. It means that. Yes, it means that you were not convinced. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That you read it, but you are not convinced. Not because you are a bad person, like okay. Ayatollah fascist Khomeini. Yeah. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. All right, we don't. We don't need to keep mentioning. I, I, yeah. I understand that Iran is your, your kind of. Big issue, but let's let's not yeah. keep bringing it back to Khomeini. I'm going to ask you a question that's just come up in the chat. Um, is being an apostate a minor sin? Uh, I mean, Quran says itself that uh, the biggest crime is that they they lose their past uh, rewards. That's the biggest threat that you, when you have become apostate, I remove from you your past, uh, you know, rewards, whatever you had. I mean. Uh, praying, fasting, just because you... So you go uh, to hell then? No, I mean, it's not only for that you, you go to hell, okay? Again, it's about your what you will do after that, okay? If you uh, commit crimes again, that's that's all uh, which is count, not your... You know, but, but, yeah, but, okay, but Muji, if this is the case, that, it, that um, being an apostate has no effect on whether you're going to get to hell or not, being a non-believer has no effect on whether you, you get to or not. It's all down to yes. the actions, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you yes. live a good life, be a good person. Then okay. what's the point in Islam? Okay, yes. Why do we need uh, it? 
All right. Yeah, exactly. So it, this is the great, uh, we should start from this as well, per, perhaps, that why I believe that Islam is the way out of this jungle we are living in, is that uh, God tried to solve our problems in the past by sending us prophets, and he did it. He solved a lot of problems in the past through uh, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Like what? Uh, for example, yeah, one of them was, uh, for example, in Islam, uh, Arab Bedouins, they were burying their daughters alive. And yeah, it, it, them, it, yes. it, it, I think this is a bit of a, this is massively exaggerated. This All right, let's, let's, let's not, look, look, not go to back, back to that. I'm just explaining, okay? For example, Christianity stopped uh, Romans and Greeks from uh, crucifying people, you know, putting people in the, you know, in stadium, killing each other. So anyway, they, they uh, change our course. One of them is that Persian empire, despite was the biggest empire, they didn't have any slaves, any crucifixion, or because they had a, a, a prophet, uh, Zarathus, that taught them three main teachings. So anyway, these, these are certain, some things that God and his religion saw, but was it enough? No. I say that if God cannot solve our current problems, then, okay, it is past and we have to forget it, okay, because he did his job and he cannot solve our problems. Anyway. I, 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 well, well, hang on, hang on. All right, let me, let me, let me just rephrase this because I think maybe, yes. I, you, I, yeah, let me put this another way. If I'm capable of living a good life, being a good person, um, without islam why do we need islam why do we need this set of rules if i'm able to live a life without it what value right. does it have all right okay so that's why what i was try trying to explain is that we need islam to solve the you know common problems that we are facing on this planet it's not about that just you uh, for example we have poverty prostitution drugs all these problems war uh, people are destroying the planet. So this problem we have to solve, okay? And I believe that we cannot solve them without Islam, okay? And if anyone who can solve these problems, I'd be more than glad and I'm not going to follow Islam, okay? If someone comes with a plan that I have this plan and the source of our problems, okay, is this, the solution is this. So, but I know that this uh, Islam says the source of our problems is the devil, the Satan, which yeah. is the, uh, well, let me tell you, uh, brother, the, the, that Satan is not an entity, it's a system that is ruling the, the planet Earth. We call it capitalism, okay? The capitalist system is destroying the planet, is allowing people to become rich by killing millions of people. And Islam's right. solution is equality. Drastic. Let me. No, no, no. Well, well, no, no, no. Look, I've got to cut okay. in here because they, they, look, I mean, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm not here to specifically okay. to get into economic models and that kind of thing. Okay, that's that's a, maybe a conversation. I don't. But you me. ask me. You ask me why we no. need Islam. Okay. So no, yeah, yeah, but, but, look, but let me counter. Yeah. Right. You're, okay. you're, so you're saying that Islam needs to come here to solve certain problems for humanity. Not certain. All problems. Right. Okay. So how? Well, let me give you that example again. Okay. If the Quran was came here to to um, to solve the problem of slavery, it failed, and okay. it would have and, and it completely failed. And it took non-Muslims um, okay. acting on their conscience to stop slavery. That's what it took. Okay. The Quran was an Islam was an absolute failure. In fact, Islam actually allowed it, um, slavery to expand out of Saudi yeah. Arabia, all through okay. East Africa, millions okay. of slaves taken by Muslims over, over okay. you know, a thousand years of imperialism, uh, mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of slaves taken from Europe, probably millions of slaves taken from parts of Asia as well. So it, 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 that was a major human problem and it was not solved with Islam. Islam made that problem worse. So how okay. can we really think that Islam is here to solve anything when it's, it, it, in my mind, on one of the most crucial moral issues, it actually made the situation worse. Okay, again, we went to the past. I'm not talking about the past. The past, I said that Islam didn't come to, or God didn't send prophets to solve things immediately. He waited millions of years, but uh, it's not about past, it's about today and the future, okay? And those who did those things, they went against Quran and teachings of Quran. So I said uh, that one, but today I'm saying that, you ask me why we need Islam, I say, 
if Islam cannot solve our problems, if someone else can solve our problems better and faster, I say we don't need Islam. Is that well? I gave you an example. Yeah, yeah, but I gave you an example where we where we did slavery was solved by non-Muslims. And I said yes. And I said that that's first of all is not the only one. Okay, I said that we the uh, the we have millions of problems today that Islam is going to solve. And I said first of all. If, tell me, where is the source of all problems we are facing, uh, facing on this planet, drastic? You are an educated person. You are living in the 21st century. For example, tobacco companies, they, produce, they kill 5 million people every year. Okay, So do you think the source of the problem of these 5 million people are getting killed? Isn't it the capitalist system that allows them to make billions of dollars by killing people? Oh. Isn't it that? Well, there's uh, look. I mean, it, it's not necessarily in just the capitalist system. I mean, smoking so is now across the world, whether you're in a pseudo capitalist system, a pseudo um, uh, socialist system, what, whatever, you, you're going to have okay. smokers there because there's a market for it. Because people okay, want... now can I? Oh, yeah, you said something. You said there is including a market Muslim for countries. Which, which no, no, you said. Look, you said there is a market for that. Yes, you didn't. You say yeah. Do I see? yeah. So, well, so well, it's, there... it's, it's not just that. It's not just that. I mean, the, the point is, it, it, I mean, advertising encourages people to buy it and stuff I like said that. that. No, no, drastic, please, please. You are an educated person. You are living in 21st century. You should understand me. If we take away the system that allows them to produce tobacco and sell it and make billions of dollars, then they are not going to produce it because there is no market for that. Nobody buy it because money will not exist, okay? And they cannot sell, so they will close down their, their factories, their, their production. Their, yeah, but their is, it is, Islam is not promoting a moneyless society, is it? It is. No, well, where, you that from? where does that say okay. that in yes, Islamic scripture? Yes. Okay, all right, let me tell you. First of all, uh, interest is haram, okay? Is uh, any uh, Muslim society want to live by that law has to get rid of capitalism because today when you go to so-called Islamic uh, uh, banks, okay, and you ask them how much is my interest, they say, oh, oh here we don't say uh, interest, we say uh, profit. They just change the name because you cannot, you know, live by Islamic, uh, you know, rules and you take interest. So capitalism will collapse on one, even one, uh, you well, know. Well, no, I mean, that's, that's of Islam. Sorry, sorry, Muta. Profit and interest are not the same things. You can get rid of interest and still have a capitalist system. So that's just not true. Okay. You mean that uh, uh, the banks will survive without interest? Can you explain? No, I'm just, I, I'm just saying that you can still make a profit without interest on loans. How can you make interest? I, I don't understand. You, you, For example, because you make a profit by selling a product at more than it costs to produce. That's how you make a profit. That's not necessarily. You don't necessarily no, need an, uh, no, an interest-free loan or something. For look, look. When you put the, the, your money in the bank, okay, so you get interest from uh, from your, your money that you put in the bank. That's called interest, and it is haram in Islam. So uh, uh, any capitalist bank uh, system will collapse without. No, without it, banks, it, without banks. Not, I mean, there used to be usury laws in the whole world, and yet capitalism okay. still arose. So, I mean, all right, okay. Let me let me then. Uh, 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 Muji, Muji, uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I don't want to turn this into a big argument about capitalism. Yeah, but uh, okay. Like so, that, but. so no, look, look, look. You ask me something, and I have to explain for you when you don't want to that. So it's not possible. To no, it's, it's not that I don't want. It's, it's not that I don't want to. It's just that. No, I know, I, I, I know, I understand. But but we can, it is not possible without that because uh, yeah. the source of all problems we are facing. It is the devil according Abrahamic religion, all Abrahamic religion. Yeah. And in Quran says that Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to immorality. So Satan okay. is the source of all immoralities. By well, obviously, spreading. I disagree with that. Obviously, I disagree. Sorry? There is no Satan. But, um, but no, 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 no. I'm just saying, look, I don't believe I said Satan is the system. Satan is not the entity. Yeah, okay, so you're using it as a metaphor. Okay, Exactly, right. metaphor. So... And then when we stand towards Mecca and say to God, show me the right way, and we prostrate towards Mecca, right. is the equality, the, the drastic. You ask me where you get it, okay? Let me explain for you. When we go to Mecca, we dress equal. 
We cannot wear jewelry. We cannot wear anything except equal dress. So you, no one is rich, no one is poor. And we say to God, I accept it. I accept what? I accept equality. And then we reject the opposite of equality, which was Satan. And Satan yeah. is nothing but the capitalist system. So this is the, the yeah. system that God I, I, okay, wants. No, you, you, Muji, you made that point, but I, I, I do mm -hmm. want to move on because I say, I mean, all right. I, okay, I, I, that's look, all. Look, that's here all, I'll yes. say, look, I'm, I'm quite happy to have another conversation with you about yes. the economic systems and stuff like that. But, but for yes, the sake okay. of this, um, there's there's one more question I want to ask you, and then I'll move to the questions in the chat, and then yes, and, and, and then yeah. well, uh, yeah. Then I'm so we'll... sorry, yeah, Pr drastic. I'm so sorry that if I talk uh, sometimes over, just I uh, should make it clear so that uh, you know that I have some proof. It's not just I made it up. Okay, so yeah. All right. Please. Okay. No. No. All right. You've made that point. Right. The, yes, the last right. question I want to ask is about um, homosexuality. Now. Okay um what what is in your interpretation does the quran say about homosexuality so it says that this is not uh, a good thing the yeah, quran um, uh, rejected but is there is no uh, for any crime there is no any worldly punishment nothing even if you kill somebody i don't have right to punish you nobody has the right to punish you except we have to rehabilitate you because there is a source for all problems. Your judgment is only with God, okay? So I've, I have no right to force you to anything, understand? I just have the right to say that it is not a good thing, okay? But if you want to do it, that's up to you. That's, it is. Right. So, uh, you, so you, 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 you don't think that, um, you know, the story of Lot in the Quran is talking about Okay, no, that wasn't no, that wasn't only because of that. They were rapists. They were doing all bad. It is to do with homosexuality, isn't it? One of their uh, bad deeds was yes, uh, homosexuality. But they were, it wasn't. They were punished not, and they were punished by God. He yeah. didn't say to his prophet to go and punish them. We have no right to punish people. Okay, that's what I'm saying. If they, it's a crime. If they are going to hell, whatever, it is up to God. Maybe He forgive them. Maybe he knows that okay, this person was born in this way. Maybe he doesn't. Okay, that's so, not so, okay. So you, so in your in your society that you're talking about, people um, who are of sexual minority, so the uh, gay people, lesbian, bisexual people, etc., yes. they would have the complete freedom to be um, yes. as part of the gay community to be uh, yes. openly gay, and there would be no persecution against them. no persecution. Yeah, just I have the right to. You know, explain for them because I know that the source of all these things is something else, and I'm I will try to get rid of the source. We say that get rid of the the disease, not the patient. Okay, so we get rid of the that's, disease. That, see, the that's patient. worrying language to be using that about gay people. I mean, you're kind of comparing them to being diseased. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm not comparing them to the disease. I'm saying that to all problems yeah any problems there is a source okay and i said the uh, source is the satan which is a, a system okay. and we have to get rid of that system these problems will disappear itself okay so oh, i, I have no right to force them yeah okay okay well I, i'm going to scroll back through the comments and just see I, I think we have addressed yes. some of them but let me just quickly um mm -hmm. go down and we'll see if there's any bits that haven't been addressed yet um Let's have a quick look. I think we did the moon splitting thing. Um, okay, uh, right. So Moshin asked, um, to be clear, Perfect Dawa believes every tafsir ever of 54.1 was incorrect. I'm not sure quite what he means there. Uh, Moshin, if you're still around, mate, then maybe you can repost that because I'm not 100% what you meant by that one. Um all right, let me move down further. Uh, somebody claimed, by the way, somebody claimed here that uh, the guy who said that I'm Iranian agent claimed that I'm a Shia. No, I'm not a Shia. I'm not a Sunni. I converted to Islam, okay? And I agree with Shia and Sunni and disagree with Shia and Sunni also uh, wherever they uh, agree with Quran. I agree with them wherever they disagree with Quran I disagree with them. So I'm not a Shia, I'm not a Sunni. Um, yeah, I mean, well, so somebody mentioned before, and I was going to mention this, I mean, the, the, you, obviously you brought up the no compulsion in religion, but that has, 
it's it's quite dodgy that verse i i, I have mm-hmm. to say because mm-hmm. it's it's not really saying there's no compulsion in religion is it let's bring the verse up um okay because i think this is quite an important one but i just want to get the verse so i'm uh bear with me no problem oh uh Oh, well, actually, I think he's quoted the. No, I think well, yeah, he's quoted nine five that um, when the in, inviolable months have passed, then kill the polytheists wherever you find them, and capture them, and besiege them, and sit and wait for them at every place of ambush. But if they should repent, establish prayer, and give zakah, then uh, let them go on their way. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. So, I mean, that verse would suggest there certainly is compulsion in religion. What would you say to that? Uh, once again, because I was looking for the compulsion, uh, because I found it, yeah. Uh, here it says, chapter 2, verse 256, there, is, there shall be no compulsion in uh, the religion. The right course has become clear from the wrong. So whoever uh, commit kof uh, in taghut, yeah, in oppression, and believes in Allah. So, okay, he, here it says, so whoever... Uh, commit coffee or reject, yeah, reject the oppression and believes in Allah. So here also, it's a clear verse that says a good kafir, yeah, those who commit kof against the oppression and believes in Allah has grasped the most trustworthy uh, handhold with no break in it, and Allah is hearing and uh, knowing. Okay. Yeah, but so, it's saying uh, and believes in Allah. So I mean, it's not. It, it, yes. Yes. It, it, yeah. yeah. It said that it said those who commit kuf against their oppression, understand? So kuf is not a disbelief. Kuf is rejecting. Here is a good kuf. So, I think you're splitting it, hairs though, because but it's it's a, they're basically synonymous terms. I mean, if you're a disbeliever like myself, I have rejected Islam. I've read it and I've rejected it. No, I say that kof, the meaning of kof, I left there also, I think, uh, no, that was, I can, uh, I, there is another video, I can also uh, leave the uh, the link also about kof, who is the kafir, okay? So there is a good kof and there is a bad kof, okay? Uh, if you reject the oppression, okay, and fight the oppression, you are a good kafir. If you reject Allah's uh, command, which I explained, what are those? Love one another and so on. Well, so it's all that, it, no, that, yeah, but see, yeah, but this this is where I would disagree because you're cherry picking the commands. I gave you commands which I am not following. And, okay, so give me the command that you don't. I I said that. Okay, that I don't okay, pray. But, I don't drink. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Yes, you know. Those commands I told you that uh, I don't know. Uh, they might be according to me. They are not major bad deeds okay according to my understanding ah, understand? but that's personal isn't it that's okay. that's okay. Not, you can't back that up so that, yes okay i said that i said that that's your judgment is with god okay but i don't if you ask me i say i don't believe that you will go to hell because of your you know these types of uh, because you didn't understand even if yeah. you do something bad because you didn't but, understand but that's like why you no, I yes. get that. And I, I like your interpretation better, but I have to say that there's no basis for it. That's just you've decided that to interpret it, to 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 say that these are sins that aren't going to get you into hell. But you've got no, no basis I, to, to, okay, to no, say Look, I say, I say this because of, I have read Quran and I understand that, okay, that that you didn't do it because of you are a bad person. It's just because you didn't understand it, okay? You didn't know. For example, myself, let me say this. Myself, I was drinking alcohol. I was having pork, okay? Now, uh, I don't drink alcohol, not because I'm a Muslim. No, because I realize this is bad for me. Oh, okay? oh yeah, but okay, but perfect double. What, sorry, Bougie, what, what happens if I read the Quran, I didn't understand it, and I went out and killed someone? Okay, if you go and kill someone, but you understand at least that, that killing someone is a bad thing, okay? So that, why do that, I understand, understand that as a non-Muslim, but I can't understand about the alcohol and the uh, pork? Um, I didn't. I didn't get your your point exactly. Well, what okay? I'm saying is, you, you're saying, well, I would understand even if I'm rejecting Islam that killing a person yeah. is a, is a bad thing to do, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So w- why why am I able to understand that without Islam, and yet I'm okay. not able to understand that uh, drinking alcohol and eating pork is a bad thing? Be, be as the the same uh, for myself, I didn't understand it either. Okay. 
Now, I thought that, uh, for yeah, example, why? Why, I, what, why, I why am I not able to understand if I reject Islam about pork and alcohol, but I am able to understand that killing someone in, is a bad thing without the Quran? Why you are? <laughs> that one I don't understand. Uh, well, because well, I didn't, it is the same for me. I didn't understand either that alcohol is bad, okay? But when I understood it, I stopped it. I made it a comment no. before I become Muslim, I stopped it, by the way. Oh, all right. let, 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 let me rephrase it because I'm, I'm, okay. I don't think I'm coming across properly. What I'm saying is, is that if if I you're saying okay I read the Quran I reject it you're saying I don't understand it so therefore if I drink alcohol or eat pork these are minor sins so therefore it's not going to send me to hell but if I go out and kill someone then I will so what you're saying is that even if I don't understand the Quran I'm still supposed to understand that killing someone is wrong so why why is that the case? Okay, so look, I say. Uh, Perhaps in the past, because today uh, we are educated, maybe in the past, if you went and killed somebody, he wouldn't either uh, punish you. For example, if uh, a crazy person, let's say today, even today, if somebody, uh, a psychopath person, go and kill somebody, even the law, today's law, man-made law, also doesn't punish that person because they know that this person didn't understand it. God understand that one also, that you didn't understand that you shouldn't kill this person, for example. Okay? God understand that one. Even we people understand that one. So if you don't understand something is wrong and you commit it, I think this is my understanding that God will not punish you for that. He's not going to punish monkeys, for example. They also do a lot of bad deeds, okay? But he's not going to punish them because they don't understand. A child is not going to punish if he does something wrong because the child doesn't understand that, okay? So this is uh, what I understand from Islam and from Quran. So when you know something is wrong, and again, even if you do it and repent, still God will forgive you. Yet well, I, 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 can go, I can go out and kill a bunch of people when then I can just repent to God and that's it. I'm all okay, good. that's that's you take a very, uh, uh, you know, great risk, okay, that uh, uh, maybe he forgives you. I don't know, but you take a great risk. Maybe he doesn't forgive you. I cannot uh, guarantee you that he forgives you, okay? But if I, but but if I drink, if I drink uh, um, alcohol and I'm not hurting anybody else, then I'll, that, that's, that's not a problem. I'll, I'm going to be forgiven to that. No, that's uh, not a big problem, but you're harming yourself and that's for your own sake, okay? Because you know that alcohol is poison, okay? That's for your own sake, okay? That you don't have to uh, harm yourself either. But it's not a big crime, no. I can say that it's not a big crime. No, okay. and, as I say, I, I, I do like your interpretation, but I'm just saying this, this, is, this, this is down to personal interpretation now rather than anything that can be backed up with scripture as far as i can see right. but let's okay. let's move it because somebody just posted the nine five verse again about the compulsion which is the one that i read which is about killing the idolaters um unless they repent so that kind of goes against the whole compulsion in religion verse. all right let me see uh it's nine five nine five is a verse okay let me see nine five i have to bring it up because I haven't memorized them, yeah? Yeah. Oh, Mujib, I mean, I'd, I've taken up nearly two hours of your time. So, I mean, yes. I apologize. No I mean, Don't I'm worry. quite happy to go on as long as you are. But, um, you okay. know, I can I can also look to wrap it up. But, yeah, anyway. So, okay. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, okay. Uh, let me uh, go to... First of all, this is about uh, uh, f during the fight, okay? Uh Okay, these, these are all, and then says that if uh, the politists, uh, they come to you and seek, uh, you know, uh, protection, you have to protect them. Uh, let me clearly read for you from Quran that... I have the first have, so, and I, and I okay, have read now, it before, so. Yes, you, I said that, that's, you cannot take it out of, uh, uh, let me see. Okay, uh, in Quran, chapter 4, uh, 489 they wish that you should be a uh, kafir just as they are kafirs so that you may all be alike do not therefore take from them allies until they immigrate in the way of Allah but if they turn their backs seize them and slay them wherever you come upon them take none of them for your 
ally or helper next verse okay so i'm continuing next and next unless it it be such of them who seek refuge with a people who are joined with you by a covenant or those who come to you because their heart is shrink from fighting uh, either against you or against their own people uh, had allah so willed he would certainly have given them power over you and they would have fought against you if they leave you alone and do not fight against you and offer you peace then allah does not permit you to harm them next verse you will find others who wish to obtain security from you and obtain security from their people every time they are uh, refuted to stay uh, state of oppression they fall back into it so if they do not withdraw from you this is also again fighting with you or offer you peace or restrain their hands then seize them and kill them wherever you overtake them and those and thus we have made for you against them a clear authorization chapter 8 verse 61 and if they incline to peace then incline to it also and rely upon allah indeed it is he who is hearing the, the knowing so i can read for you many verses in quran that says you have no right to fight those who do not fight you chapter 60 verse 8 as well says that allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you and expel you from your home to be righteous towards them so it is all about those who fight you okay my brother yeah but the, yeah but i don't really think that helps because the verse is still saying that you can kill the disbelievers unless they come and um uh, essentially become muslims okay so look, it is I, clearly look. saying that the, the, the way okay. to save yourself is to become muslim otherwise you're permitted to be killed okay uh, i read for you chapter 3 verse 8 uh, chapter 3 verse 7 sorry and i said that uh, uh, the, only those firm in knowledge understand that uh, true and interpretation of uh, unspecific verses how they understand it they put it beside other verses okay so when chapter 60 verse 8 says wait chapter 60 verse 8 okay says that Allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you because of religion and do not expel you from your homes from being righteous towards them and mm -hmm. acting justly towards them indeed allah loves those who ju act justly allah next one allah only forbids you from those who fight you because of religion and expel you from your homes and aid yeah, in good. your expulsion okay so let me read for you about for example you say that they have to become muslim chapter 3 verse 113 not all of them are alike the of the people of the book are a person that stand for the right they uh, rehearse the verse of uh, god all night long and they prostrate themselves in yeah. a, a adoption and um, this this uh, yeah but Muji, this does not nullify what's in chapter nine because in okay. chapter nine, again, if you look at what's being said, it's basically saying that if you've got a treaty with with non-Muslims, OK, mm -hmm. if you've got some kind of um, uh, uh, treaty that says that you can't kill them, then, yes, you can't kill them. But if that treaty is invalidated in any way, you then you can kill the disbelievers no. unless they can come to you and convert to Allah or if they seek your protection the verse says if they seek protection then take them in to listen to the words of Allah that's clearly okay. saying that the protection is conditional on you essentially listening to the thing that's going to make you a Muslim drastic I'm so sorry I'm not going to compare you uh, with ISIS or anything but unfortunately the way they do is also take one verse of Quran that they say I'm not taking one verse I'm not taking no, one no no look I said that Chapter 3, verse 7 says that the unspecific verses of Quran is known only by Allah and those firm in knowledge. Those firm in yeah. knowledge, they don't call Allah and say, Allah, what does yeah. it mean, this verse? No. What they do, sure. they put it beside other verses and say, yeah. oh, Allah, 
Chapter 60, verse 8 says that I have no right to fight those who do not fight me. Yeah, but, but so Rudy, when I Rudy, put them Rudy, aside, do, do you feel me. the need? Do you feel no, the need to put yeah. the verse which says that you should obey your parents? Do you feel the need to put that verse next to any other verse? Or is that nice and clear? Okay. Because uh, yes. it's going back to the point that I'm saying that it's always these contentious verses about violence yes. that suddenly you need to refer to 700 other verses in the Quran to try and make it sound that it's saying something that it's okay, not. Okay, look. Okay. And look, also, just sorry, sorry. The, 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 yes. the reference to you're not saying that I'm ISIS. Let me be clear here because you do you have said this to almost everybody you've talked about. You kind of hinted and implied that if they don't accept your no, no, reformist version, they're somehow doing it. No, Bear in no. Mind, can you, well, look, can you accept that? It's, no, wait, no, wait, wait, let me it. just ask you this. Can you yes, accept, yes. can you accept that there are many, many millions, tens of millions of Muslims in the world who are not part of ISIS, but agree with the traditional definition that yes, these are about killing disbelievers. Okay, yes, you know, it's not just ISIS. You know, it's not just no, ISIS. No, I know. Look, I know. I'm just saying that either Allah is contradicting, okay, or these yeah. people don't understand it. Okay, so when Allah says that, not only Muslims go to heaven, he says that in uh, what I read for you now about Christian and Jews, that they are, there are good Christian and Jews that do they, uh, they do this and they are in the rank of righteous people. So they are people who, and then even disbelievers, people who do not believe in God, they are in the rank of righteous people. There are many other verses. So Allah clearly says that fight those who fight you and fight as long as they fight. When they stop fighting, you stop fighting too because Allah does not like those who transgress. So yeah, he's it, clearly it, saying it. Okay. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I'd, I'd like to see the verse in the Quran that puts us atheists in the righteous people group because I don't think I've ever read that. But, okay. Um, but that's, me, uh, that, you know, that's a kind of a... I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it for but you. Let me, let me just, I'll, I'll move on, because I think other people did leave questions in there, and we've been going two hours. Okay. So we Wait, this. just I read for you fast, okay? Very fast. Chapter ahead, 49, cha chapter 49, verse 13. It says, all mankind, it doesn't say all Muslim, all mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female and made you people and tribes that you may know one another indeed the most noble of you in the sight of allah is the most righteous of you indeed allah is knowing all over so this is not about muslim this is about all mankind which so verse was that chapter 49 verse 13 okay 49 so, 13. yes yes so it says mankind it doesn't say all oh, believers it doesn't say all oh, muslims okay and uh let me uh, yeah, but how, how does that, that wait a second i've just read that verse back to myself that that's not saying that atheists are part of the uh, righteous people it's saying you're created that way and bearing in mind that the uh, traditional narrative is that you are created believing in god anyway with the innate okay. that's, that's, so, that's, that's, that's trash okay i just said that's trash you are not created to believe okay you are we are just created like animals i say we are created animals but we learn to live human being be, uh, live like a human being and die like a human being or live like an animal and die like an animal. So the sure. one who live like a, a human being will be, be rewarded and the one who live like an animal will be punished. Well, okay. this is the thing because I think this what this verse is saying when I read it is basically saying that out of all of Allah's creations, whether that be humans, jinn, animals, plants, the humankind is the most kind of noble. But that doesn't mean that the humans can't like you say act like animals and therefore fall out of the righteousness and one of those things that makes you fall out is being a disbeliever no no okay this is a very deep another one this is a very discussion deep discussion okay we maybe don't want to go uh, in that deep discussion okay Three, fair enough, fair okay 321 321 says this is the one i said about uh, whoever and scholars who say that those who got message, good scholars, yeah, got the message or didn't get the message and didn't understand it if they got it. Uh, chapter 3, verse 21. Those who commit kufr against the signs of Allah and kill the uh, prophets without right and kill those who orders justice from among the people. Actually, it's not justice here. It's, uh, 
qist uh, in Arabic, which is interpreted as equality. Okay, those who order equality or spread equality, give them tiding of a painful punishment. So, Does it say Allah, equality. Sorry, which verse is this you're reading from? It's chapter three, verse twenty-one. Three twenty-one. Yes. So here they have rendered it as ordered justice, but yeah, it Arabic, doesn't say equality again. No, see, in Arabic, word changes are important. Okay. Only because... No, look, no, I tell you, in Arabic says those who spread qist. Okay, qist is rendered by some people equality. Okay, and not the Quran. The Quran doesn't seem to be rendered that way. No, Quran says qist. Okay, but justice. We, we yeah we we interpret it as equality. Okay. So this is uh, interpretation, and uh, I can I have heard also others who uh, render it as equality. Okay. So anyway, but it, so, but it doesn't it doesn't appear in any of them any of the typical translations as equality, does it? Oh, so, I understand. I understand. Yes. But anyway, so this is about those. It's not about Muslims. It's about those. Those can be anyone who spread. Okay, let's take it as justice. Those who spread the message of justice or. Uh, spread justice. If they get killed, like I gave uh, example of uh, Ernesto Che Guevara, so they uh, will be uh, those who kill them is as if as they have killed a prophet of God. So they are in the rank of prophets yeah. of God. Okay. But I, I I think you would find that you know considering the channel I have, which is directly okay, I focus mostly at the moment on the people like Muhammad Hijab and Hakitu, who we would both dislike. Um, but my, my general message is that I still I, you know, I'm I'm an anti theist, I suppose. Uh, at the end of the day, I think religion overall does more harm than good. And mm -hmm. I don't think it's true. And I would want to see not just Islam. I mean, I'd want to see the world about all religions, but particularly I find the most problematic one today is Islam. I actively would like to see Islam not exist. Now, I'm mm -hmm. not saying that I would do that in any kind of violent way. To, I'm just talking about discussion, yes. persuading people in a okay. civilized but how about, uh, Sorry, how about the way, I mean, the, the Islam that I want to spread, do you want to also that that one disappear? I would, yeah, I, well, as I said, I, I would certainly have much less problem if, if the majority of Muslims genuinely believed the way that okay. you're interpreting it, I would have much less of a problem with it. I still, it's not going to harm you anyway. Well, I, they, right? they, 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 I, I personally still think there is inherent harm in believing things which have, n you know, no good reason to believe in them. I don't think that's a good way to base a society on. But yes, I would agree that I would be far less motivated to um, be against a, a set of doctrine if it was interpreted in the way that you do. But the problem is, and actually this relates to a question which I'm going to read from the chat. Um, somebody was saying, you know, how likely do you think it is that Muslims are going to come around to your way of interpreting things? Because you really are in a small minority. So do you think it's likely your version is ever going to, you know, become mainstream? Uh, I, I said it from the beginning that it will become the mainstream, yeah. Definitely. By the way, I put right now. I shared the the link about uh, a video about who is a kafir. Okay, for those who would like to uh, to know, I don't know if it came or not, but I put it on. Was okay, that in the private chat? I put it in the main chat. Okay, so All this right. is also made by Brother Rashid. Okay. I will put it in the private chat also. You can maybe uh, okay. appreciate it. Share it also because it is with all verses of Quran that but, talking but, about. But Mu uh, Muji, what, why do you believe that your version of Islam will become mainstream just because that's how you interpret the Quran is going to say that it's going to happen that way? Or do you have any practical? Because okay. because if you're honest, if you look at the world now, you know, okay. I'd be surprised if more than half a percent of the world's Muslims would interpret the, the way you do. So oh, how is that going to change in yes. a practical measure? Is, is yes, it's in a practical, yes. Uh, and drastic. Uh, unfortunately, uh, big powers who uh, love the, uh, the, what is it, the um, terrorism, extremism in the Middle East because they sell a lot of amount of weapons to the Middle East and so on. They don't want this Islam to be the main uh, that's why they have been trying to stop us um, through different measure. But we will bring down the regime in Iran and we will take over. And there was a, uh, for example, there was a parliamentarian from uh, Jordan 
And she met my leader, she's a woman as well. And she said to that leader that when you take the power in Iran, it's not only women in Iran who get their, their equal right, the entire Middle East women stand up for the equal rights. Yes, there will be, we will uh, change the, the mainstream. And unfortunately there are dark powers who try to stop us because they don't yeah. want this peaceful, but, loving Islam. Okay. But but so but, we, but, is, but Muji, 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 yes, Muji, yes. The, the, you know, these these dark powers, whatever you're alluding to, the, the, it, this has been the mainstream interpretation of Islam through all Islamic history. So you can't say these dark powers are the reason why this is the mainstream interpretation. Okay, this goes no, back. No, I didn't to, say no. Yeah, I'm my yeah. brother, no, I didn't say. I said that. You said, will it be? I say they have been trying to stop us now. Uh, for example, uh, 57 years ago, they were just three who interpreted Quran in this way. Three people. Now we are millions. Okay. You and think there are millions be, of Muslims who, who interpret it the way you do? Yes, yes, there are millions. And uh, uh, we have, uh, what is it? Uh, I showed you the city there. Uh, and we can, unfortunately, many of them are inside Iran and they cannot show themselves. But uh, I could show you videos that we are a lot of people and we will become uh, much, much more after the regime fall. People will know us. And uh, yes, people... Uh, there will be a great change uh, in the Middle East very soon, okay? Then like the, the Arab uh, Spring, you remember the Arab Spring, yeah? So like the Arab Spring, it will spread the entire Middle East, yeah? This democracy, this... Yeah, but the Arab uh, Spring was, was crushed, wasn't it? Because I know, I know, I know. But the thing is that, what I'm saying is that how vast it spread, yeah? What, how it was spreading no, so it was, fast. It was, it was impressive. I, I, I agree. Yeah, but, but, but there were yes. many secular forces also that were spreading. I know. This, this, I understand. This just about what I'm saying, no, no. What I'm saying is that it influenced, yeah? One pl thing, sure. one place influenced the entire Middle East. So, and then, for example, 1952, uh, when we had a democratic elected uh, prime minister, it influenced Egypt. Abdul Nasser came to power as well, okay? Yeah. And yeah. so on. So so it will s spread in the uh, entire Middle East. And I hope that it happens very soon. We are hoping mm -hmm. that it will happen very soon, yes. Well, I mean, as I say, I would, I would certainly think it would be a better world if your interpretation was but I, d I don't really hear any practical answers to that other than just it's your your wish your hope it's my wish and my hope as well i would say that i would share... i showed you the video my brother i showed you the video there are people they are practicing it there, there, there are people but i millions i, I very much doubt that i, I said do. millions yes i said millions if uh if the regime falls you will see it okay and we, for example, one of the... Well, we're, not, we're not just talking about Iran, we're talking about Muslims yeah. all over the world. I mean, I've spoken yeah, probably at this point to thousands of Muslims, and I reckon I mean, I've spoken to probably three people like you out of those thousands. Yeah. Look, I'm saying that it doesn't have to be everywhere at once, yeah? It starts from one place and it spread other places as well, yeah? And I said, for example, those uh, wrong interpretation says that women are, they, they are stupid, they have, their brain is half a, a man, they have to stay home like this Daniel Isis Jew, okay? I call him Daniel, Daniel Isis Jew. But my organization, we say women are exactly, absolutely equal to men, and they are leaders, they are leading my the, the revolution against Iranian regime and so on. Well, it's good so, to hear it. And, and believe me, I, I wish them all the luck in the world. Uh, thank you. As say, there's, there's, there's nothing I would want more than women mm -hmm. to be able to get their equal rights, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, across the Muslim world. I just, I'm mm -hmm. wishing it and seeing it happen are two different things, though. So, um, okay. but anyways, uh, I think at this point, unless there's any particular other points you want to talk about, I might start to wrap up. So if anybody has any other yes. questions, I'm sorry if I've missed questions. I've kind of been going back and forth to see if there's any I think I've missed. But if anyone wants to ask any last minute, you know, last questions to Muji, please do. Muji, is there anything else that you wanted to sort of talk about before we... No, I, I just say that it was very nice talking to you. And uh, I wish that uh, we can talk. Uh, anybody has more questions? I go live every Saturday, so you are welcome. And mostly I need people who help me fighting these uh, extremists. So if anybody is uh, a fighter, I want that you, because they block me, you can call them and ask them, force them to, you know, to debate me. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I, I can't see anybody... Um... <sighs> 
if they are fighters <laughs> well yeah. no it's not that it's just that if they, they if they blocked you they blocked you i mean ham yeah, ham I mean, ham they, said, uh, they, Hamza yes. did invite me onto his live stream, but I refused to go because I, I just think it's a dishonest play. You know, it's not like here where we can just talk and have a, a free exchange. They, they manipulate things. But I mean, look, it, it, I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to make this a, like a snarky comment here, but somebody has says there's millions of people who follow your your interpretation, but you've only got a few hundred subscribers. So, OK, I didn't say that they follow my interpretation. OK, I said that my organization interpret the Quran, the way I also interpret it, and they have, I showed you the video. Okay, okay they, share, they, all, they share the same interpretation. Yes, they share it's the same interpretation, exactly. And uh, my, uh, they are mostly Iranian, my uh, my channel is uh, English language, okay? So if it was uh, Persian language, perhaps they would, uh, yeah. Well, what what would about all the Muslims in the English speaking world, in, in my country, in uh, America, New Zealand, uh, in, yes, yes. In, you know, all these different places. How, where are all the Muslims who interpret it the way that you do? Where, where are all these people? Because I, I, honestly, Muji, I, oh. I, I so rarely hear anybody who talks about Islam the way you do. Okay, yeah, actually, um, for example, I I know uh, a brother. Hello, I I'm still some... here. I'm still here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was something else that I heard. Some something came up. No, uh, I'm still here. Computer. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yes, brother Rashid. Uh, he's from Denmark. He interpreted it the same way, uh, and uh, his channel. And then there is another brother, Khalid, uh, uh, Quranic Islam. Also, he has a channel with several thousand. Uh, subscribers there is this uh, mufti main uh, sorry mufti uh, uh, light mufti light something he i have forgotten his he also has uh, i don't know tens of thousands of subscribers and he also has good interpretation of uh, uh, you know quran so there are people i know that um, we are not uh, so famous now but it is the beginning okay but you have to just be patient yeah you have to be just patient it will uh, grow. Well, Mufti Abu Light, yes. Mufti Abu Light, yes. Mufti Abu Light. Okay. Mufti Abu Light, he, he has the same interpret or similar interpretation yeah, to you. Similar. He has also, he's also, uh, you know, uh, good, I mean, open minded, and uh, he rejects these uh, stupid interpretations of, uh, for example, so many fabricated hadiths as well. I don't know everything he, he says, but I think that he has also some uh, good uh, interpretation, yes. Okay. Wasn't he attacked? Yes, he was. I think he was attacked uh, he, a few years ago, or not even a few years ago, for his moderate views, thoughts. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I know so, that these, these extremists are everywhere. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, yeah. See, I suppose to well, look to wrap up. I think yes, it would, yes, it would okay. certainly be nice if um, if if your interpretation was the mainstream. I, I it would be nice, but I, I yeah. think. Ultimately, mm -hmm. I think it is a tiny minority, and I think the vast majority have some kind of orthodox version mm -hmm. which acknowledges these okay. violent verses, etc., are as they are, they, they seem to appear plainly in the Quran. I'm yes. not persuaded by these reinterpretations, but at the same time, I do think that you believe them sincerely. So oh, I credit and I credit I credit you for challenging the likes of Nadir Ahmed um mm -hmm. and these other these other kind of darwa types who are mm -hmm. spreading yeah. an ideology which we would both disagree with so oh, yes. um, yeah, yeah. I, I would say yeah so that, that i'd like to thank you a great thank you very time. much my brother thank you for inviting me it was I think a great it's been an interesting conversation and it yes. was nice and civilized which is yes, good sir. yeah very thank good, you yeah. Every, thank you everyone in the chat who's asked questions and uh, has yes. listened along um muji if you just to say you know uh publicly if you want to put any of this conversation up on your channel then please do obviously yeah yeah, yeah, I will, yes. yeah thank you and um yeah if you want to talk again I, i'd be happy to do yes, that yeah. so. of course thank you my brother and anybody has as i said uh for the question every saturday 7 uh, p.m central european time i go live you are welcome we always have Christian atheists, they call in and we have great conversation and and talk. even the dear Ahmed, even the dear Ahmed. Yes. Even the dear Ahmed, he was uh, <laughs> uh, he, he was insulting me and I didn't uh, you know He was very rude, wasn't he? I yeah, watched that he was rude. Yes, yeah. 
very rude. I didn't remove him. I let him to say people can decide. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. All right. Well, I hope you feel you've been treated fairly here. Anyway. Yeah, of course. Yes. Uh, no, no, absolutely. Thank you, my brother. Take care. Thank you. All right. Thank I'm going to close the live stream. Thanks, everyone. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Take care.